Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations with Marvelous. And before I introduce my... You guys didn't do another mic check, huh? I did. Okay, are we good? Okay, welcome back, everyone, to Conversation with Marvelous. Uh, please forgive these guys for the technical difficulty. They're always doing this shit to me. So this, this is going to be the last show. You guys know why, okay? <laughs> but anyways, uh, you know what? I want to thank everybody in the live chat, everybody who commented, liked, subscribed, shared, disliked. It doesn't matter. You guys are still watching. Much love and respect to all you guys who decided not to be on the live chat. But I want to give a shout-out to the IE Foods. I want to give a shout-out to the LA Foods. I want to give a shout-out to the Raider Foods. And you're, if you're just a fool, period, what's up? Uh, other than that, uh, I encourage everyone to go check out my latest episode on Smoking with the Wizard. I had Julio G. Julio G came and kicked some damn knowledge. That's probably one that so many people have DM'd me and told me that that was probably the best interview out of all my interviews when it, when it pertaining to music beats djing cutting scratching etc etc and he challenged uh in a good way you know uh when we talked about chicano rap he challenged chicanos you know we we can claim rasa all we want but when it comes down to it in this business where are the hits where are the hits now when we say hits we're not just talking about cool songs that sound dope loud we're not talking about that we're talking about hits so I encourage everyone to go check out that episode. At the very end, it cut off, but we started up a new link, so you'll see part one and part two. So definitely go check that out. We have Dr. David Sanchez here. He took calls here along with Marvelous. So we had a lot of good, interesting, uh, educational uh, conversations. Um, other than that, if you want to appear on Rodian Radio, please submit your music uh, along with uh, videos, along with a short bio to rhodiumradio at gmail.com, rhodiumradio at gmail.com. So with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. we got a very interesting night, some great topics, some great questions, and eventually we'll open it up to the call. So once again, if you got the balls, make the call. So without further ado, please allow me to introduce my special guest, Marvelous Inc. Marvelous, how are you doing today? Well, you know what? Um, first and foremost, I want to thank you for being here. Uh, how was the drive over here? Was there a lot of traffic? No, nah, it, it was pretty good. I mean, because you know that LA traffic will sometimes get to you. Yep, all the time. All good, man. All good. Listen, um, today is... Dude, I'll be, I'll be forgetting my fucking days, but today is Wednesday. Um, how was the weekend for you, bro? It was good, man. Just spent time with my, my little boy, uh, my other kids, and um, just chilled. That was it. Like... Didn't really do nothing much, you know? A lot of work? A lot of tattoo work? Um, All the time, man. I've been super overbooked, I think. Like, I, I need to take a break off that. Oh, yeah? I did hit a a, a, a Cultura spot with um, Norby's. That was pretty dope. It was? Yeah, Norby's. What was the name of that? Uh, I already forgot. Oh, my. Oh, it was that good? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, for everybody that, that recognized that, you know, the team right here on Rhodium. Um, Norby was taking pictures with everybody, man. Oh, really? He was a yeah. celebrity. He is a celebrity now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. walking around with Taco Bell yeah. sauce all over his lips. Yep, yep. Looking like lipstick. For real, for real. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get a video where to, where he could show everybody how he puts on his lip gloss. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and start with something. Uh, I, I want to hand this to you. Uh, you could take a look at it while I talk to you about something. Somebody sent me this and said that this book is being targeted to being banned. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, for Norbert did his homework and he said in Florida it's already banned. And this book is called Abuelas, Abuela, I'm sorry, singular, Abuela. And uh, this book was actually mailed to me. And uh, I looked through it and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this book. And I was trying to figure out why they want to ban it. And if I can read just a little bit of what this book is like. This person, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank this person for sending it to me. Uh, this person asked me, you know, to read it to my grandkids. And I'll read it just a little bit so you guys can get an idea of why they want to ban this book, or at least why I think. Abuela is my grandma. She is my mother's mother. Abuela means grandma in Spanish. Abuela speaks mostly Spanish because that's where people spoke where she grew up. Before she came to this country, Abuela and I are always going places. So it's pretty much a little girl where her, was with her abuela with her grandmother. And um, 
they just spend the day together. I was trying to figure out as I read through it why they would want to ban such a book. Um, for an example, we could find the building where my father works. Hola, Papa, I say as I waved, and Abuela would do a flip for fun as we pass by the window. So that's pretty much, it's got some nice art. And um, so I brought it to Marvelous' attention on why would they want to ban this book. And my answer to him, because he said, okay, you, you first. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what little culture this book may have. I think wh whoever is behind trying to ban this is just trying to possibly um, not only destroy, but trying to erase or trying to have a generation forget their own culture. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and again, abuela is just a Spanish word that means grandmother. Um, why do you think that people are possibly trying to target this book? Because as it is, it's already banned in Florida. Yeah. Well, from what I got, I mean, I have the same answer you do, bro. But um, I think personally, from the little bit that I that I have heard about it, or have you know what you were reading right now, and from what we were heard, listening to before, I think it, it just has a lot to do with our culture, and it comes from. I think you know, first of all, they're at the docks and they're watching all the all our people unload the the fruit and all that, and um, I think for the majority of the the real organic stuff, it does come from our land. You know, whether it's bananas, apricot, avocados, um, all that. Um, and all the other stuff that that's being GMO is manufactured by corporations that are off seas, you know, right. A lot of stuff that the good stuff that comes from from our land. And what I say, our land is people already know the Americas. It gets shipped out to the European and out that way. And all their stuff comes into the genetic modified comes into our area. So, for instance, if you go to a supermarket over here and you pick up a rice, a, a rice, a thing of rice or macaroni and cheese, it's going to be all synthetic, all yeah. GMO. But if you go to their supermarkets and you look at their stuff, their stuff's all organic. They have real sugar. We have processed stuff. They have uh, real like stuff with real honey in it. We have processed stuff, and it's just you know it's a it's, it's a manipulation, bro. I think that they they want to take away from our culture. They want to remove that. Um, you know, she's with their grandmother, bro. And right. uh, how many of us our grandmas are are still around? You know, yeah. we're dying off at an early age now. Yeah, yeah. My, my mother passed away at sixty three. She died fairly young. That's young. That's very very young. That's young. And you know, there was a statistic given years ago that said that. If you have, because my mother, uh, she had breast cancer. Yeah. So they would say that the more kids you have, the less of a chance you have of getting breast cancer. My mom had 10 kids, bro. How many more you got to have? Yeah. She had 10 kids and still passed away at such an early age. My dad Man. lived in his, to his 80s. He lived in his 80s. And he was a borracho for many years. Mm -hmm. He was a drunk, but he, he took care of himself eventually when he stopped. Yeah. You know. But, yeah, th that's one thing. Whatever little culture we still have between uh, 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 a grandmother and the great-grand or the, the gra granddaughter, you know, it, there's a lot of people that don't even have that, you right. know. Right. The, a lot of people don't have stories about their grandmother. Like me, uh, my grandmother passed away when I was a little boy, bo both of them. Uh -huh. When I was a little boy, my father's mother and my uh, mother's mother, when I was a little boy, my my mother's father i never even got to meet him uh -huh. but he was same name as as me uh -huh. you know Ant antonio aguilar that was his name yeah and my father's father i met him maybe once he, he had a weird name his name was natavida uh mm -hmm. nativity yeah yeah you know and uh his mother's name was rebecca and then my mother's mother was named uh, uh, isabella so i remember i remember seeing them but i never got to spend like a day like this Damn, that's messed them. up so so sometimes i wonder like let me just take that away from you because if you forget who you are, you yeah. lose your identity. Yeah. And then eventually you're not going to want to be called Antonio. You're going to want to be called they, he, she, <laughs> shim, yeah. whatever. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to know who you are. So, but that's why I believe it's important for us to teach our children, even if they're not ours, teach them good. Let's educate them. In other words. Yeah. You know, we got to educate them. Yep. So anyways, um, People submitted questions, so we're going to jump right into it. Um, some of them are pretty good, I have to say. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And it, uh, I, I do recommend it to you guys. You know, for those of you guys that you don't necessarily have to learn how to speak Spanish to, to read this because there are just some short, small words on here. But definitely read it to your, to your kids. I'm going to read it to my grandkids. Okay, first question. What's up, uh, Tony and Marvelous? I got a question for Marvelous. 
Is he going to eventually have a merch we can buy to support his channel? I think that's number one. And has he ever thought about putting any cultura or Chicano style type of artwork on some shirts? I think he'd get down on them if he ever decided to do it. So it was two questions. Uh, uh, are you ever going to have merch? And eventually, uh, are you going to put cultura Chicano style on on some shirts has that ever been in the process has that ever been a thought that's what they're asking yeah all that all, all that's always been a, a a thing that i always wanted to do i just i just haven't done it i, I don't know i guess I, i'm lagging it me personally but i also didn't want to do it because i mean i do want to do it and then i don't i don't want to do it because i feel i don't want people to say oh you know he's just trying to he's here for the feria he's here for the money or he's just trying to sell some shit like you right. know like and I don't, I don't need that i don't need nobody's donation or nothing you know right but um yeah i would love to throw some cultura on on shirts or i i, I want to do like whole outfits so you know yeah well i think that'll be dope because that would be your brand that would be your your work and people would be able to rock your your art along with your fucking tag you know marvelous ink on mm -hmm. it you know what i'm saying yeah. i think it'll be different yeah so hopefully that answers your question and if not eventually just call in when we open up the phone lines ask marvelous if you can get into some issues Get an Aztec calendar tatted on you. Can can a person get into some issues if he were to get an Aztec calendar tatted on himself? No, not the calendar. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Let's see. Cuba uh, marvelous. When is podcasting coming up? Marcos from Sonora. <laughs> I'm dropping a first video this month. Awesome, awesome. This month. Okay. Um, much respect. Much love and respect to Tony and his crew and also El Maravilloso. Y'all killing it. I have a question for Marvelous. The mother of my child, she is from Central America. From her father's side only, she is, she is, let me read that. From her, her father's side, only thing is she is white skinned and most of her father's family also. So she's from Central America. She's mm -hmm. light skinned and this part, I kind of don't understand, but maybe we'll try to make some sense out of it. It says, now, according to Bible, mm -hmm. would she be God's chosen people and saved, or would she be considered Spaniard and Edomite? So, according to biblical history, I mean, we go by our father's, our father's um, uh -huh. pedigree. Um, the only reason why we become light-complected or we'll have green eyes or blonde hair or some, some people are even albino is through the phenol of the woman that's introduced into the child that's you know composed of the egg but other than that she would be a, a chosen if, if she if along the bloodline you know a spaniard or a greek didn't mix with that bloodline you would it, literally the bible says test the test you're tested by the spirit mm -hmm. you know if your spirit is discerning of, of of the commandments and and you heed to them more than likely heck yeah okay Hopefully that answers your question. And once again, uh, if I don't get to all of them, you feel more than welcome to call in when we won't open up the phone lines. Hello, Tony. I was wondering if you can ask Marvelous where we can get a book about the different Aztec tribes of Mexico. For instance, my parents are from Jalisco and would love to know about Aztecs in that region. Gracias for Crescent City, California. You know what the book i don't know where you could get it and i actually don't even know the name of the book but my friend posted it up i gave his information out last time and uh -huh. he teaches specifically on that he likes to talk about origins and stuff like that um and the different um uh oh my god how do you how do you say it the different um types of nahuatl because okay. people go oh i speak nahuatl but there's different variations of it Okay. You know, so um, man, I'll put uh, if you guys could put his um his info after the show, I'll put okay. it up there. Okay. And they could ask him. Okay. C c can you find the post at all on this page? Yeah, I'd have to. I'm looking for it right now, but I have to look for it. Let me uh, remind. I'm, I'm gonna look for it right now as we're talking. Okay. Or or uh, um, if you're listening right now, you can actually DM him and he'll send it to you as well. Yeah. So let's do that. Okay. Question for Marvelous: Do you think East LA will eventually become like Echo Park? And Highland Park, area full of hipsters and raza become non-existent. It already is. It's already been gentrified, bro. Okay. Back in the days, and this is no disrespect to any any of the brothers or anything, but you never see no black people walking down Woody Boulevard. Mm -hmm. no, and now there's they're everywhere. Yeah. You know? 
um there's there's all kinds of ethnicities out there there i see asians everywhere just walking like like nothing white, white guys on bikes like what the heck like, right right before you didn't see that before yeah that was non-existent yeah, yeah. okay Next question. I was wondering if this is correct. I have a team where we're Mexican, Guatemalan, Salvadorian, and Nicaraguan, and we call each other raza all the time. Mm -hmm. We all like the same things, raise the same, and don't see much difference besides their different borders our relatives crossed. Is it correct to call ourselves raza? I believe, I mean, I believe it's, it's okay to call it, uh, we're a raza, like that's uh, our, our, our lineage, like our, like, I mean, people, people, you know, these borders have gone out of hand where, I mean, the ideology of a, of a border, you know, like the argument of the, what the dude that called last time, right, from Texas, Yeah. those borders, they're only set in your mind how much you make them real, you know, they're not, they're not relevant to me. You know, anybody that, that if you throw a gate in front, right here, this table blocking me doesn't separate me from you. Right. They're still my people, you know. So people, they just need to get that, that it's it's a part of like hypnosis, I believe, bro. Like they just have that shit. Like the government tells you something and you go and believe it. Go get this shot. It's going to cure you. What does it do? It kills you. Oh, go drink this milk. It's good for your bones. What is it doing? It's causing inflammation. Oh, I'm going to put this border right here and call you American and call you Mexican. So people believe it. You know, it's like, it's, it's retarded, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. I believe we all come from, you know, we all come from a same, a bigger tribe, you know, that has essentially just migrated and broken off parts back, back when, and a main thing when you, when you study about migration, like, especially that, that if you want to study about the Mexica, whatever, Maya, or the, we'll just talk about the Mexica right now. Right. So they wouldn't, everybody wouldn't go. There were, there were long walks, long trials of, you know, in the, being in the sun. It, these would take seasons to get to a certain place, you yeah. know, summers. Like, it would take years probably to get, you know, way down somewhere. And not everybody can go. The sick, the elderly couldn't go. Um, yeah. Those that didn't want to leave um, children behind that were new, that wouldn't be able to, to survive the walks, couldn't go. And those ended up being uh, um, other tribes. They end up renaming themselves, but they kept a lot of the same laws. You know, those that's how our, our separation from the, the American Indians are. You know, they still have the same. They still follow the same moon. They still follow the same laws. Yeah. Those laws are found in scripture, in the Bible. Why is that? You know, um, it's just it, it, people don't know because they don't they don't know how to study the moon no more. They changed our, our, our timeline. Um, we're on a Gregorian time system. Right. And that's not even the real time. We're supposed to follow the, the phases of the moon. We actually have 13 months of 28 days. We don't even follow that. You know, so how is everybody, anybody ever going to know the truth? They're not. They're just going to continue to argue with you, argue with me about all that. And it's like, man, bro, sit down and, and study something, homie. Like, right, right. you know, how are you going to, it's your cognitive dissonance that's keeping you thinking that that border is real, that that wall is, is blocking something. Hell nah. If we all group together as a people, our, our frequency vibration will rise up. Hmm. we'll overcome we could overcome anything we're a strong ass people absolutely absolutely okay let's go to the next one tony if you were to put together an all-star chicano rap track like the one king little g is putting together <laughs> featuring drummer boy young dopey shadow and criminal who would be your five rappers um uh, okay um <laughs> who's who's killing it right now tony well he's not saying right now he's just saying oh. overall overall yeah there's oh. some good there's some good artists from back in the day shit well that's that's where i'm going okay look uh, again marvelous this is just my opinion right, i know because right. i work with this guy frank b is the best chicano rep to have ever done it all right that's it that's just my opinion none of these guys today would ever ha hang with frank b in his prime Period. That's not to put anybody down. That's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Frank B just didn't, didn't keep his head on straight. Okay. I have to give it. Uh, so I will put Frank B, obviously. I would put uh, Frost in there. Uh, nobody has delivered a song like La Raza. His mic presence and his delivery, it, it, it still has withstood the, the test of time. 32 years later, mm -hmm. La Raza still a banger. Okay. There hasn't been a bigger song and she got a rap since then. Yeah. Okay. Now somebody says, Tony, you know, there's hits out there. You just have to look for them. Look, bro. I don't have to look for anything. If they're hits, they're hits. You know, if there's a fire down the street, I don't have to make flyers for people to go see the flyer. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fire. People are just going to see it. 
I don't have to let people, oh, it's just a hit, Tony. It's, no, just because it sounds cool loud doesn't mean it's a hit. Okay, turn that shit down, put it on the NS10s, let me listen to it. Okay, it's not good, skip. Okay, so I would say Frank V, Kid Frost, okay. Um, my next one would probably be on there. Uh, to be honest with you, I'd probably throw in uh, Little Rob. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll throw him in there. So Frank V, Frost, Little Rob. Um, let me see who else. Uh, you know what I think the problem is, Tony? Um... I think that people don't know the difference between just regular people that rap and entertainers or a musician. A musician can compose and put something together. Right. Other people are just rapping over sampled beats and people that, right. you know, right. they don't compose something, you know. To right. compose something is really, you know. No, you're, you're absolutely right, bro. And, and I know I'm missing some, but um, I'll even throw in somebody that I thought could have been great. Uh, um, and he only had one song, but he's much more than this one song. And I know because I work with him as a rich rock from the original Spanish fly from mm -hmm. the Harbor area. Uh, I met that guy when he was in junior high school and great lyricist. So I have Frank V, Kid Frost, um, little Rob, as a rich rock. And I'm gonna tell you surprise somebody new. Okay. That I don't work with anymore. I'll throw in Mr. D mm. In my book, mm -hmm. in my book, okay, in my opinion, Mr. D was going to take over everything, bro, if he would have just continued to still, uh, still work with me. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Other than that, nobody could have hung, hung with Mr. D if you guys would have got a full album out of me for him, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, yeah, that's it, bro. So <clears throat> that's my five, five all-star team. Now, uh, the second part question is, Marv, uh, is the American empire collapsing possibly or is it part of a bigger, more evil plan for the future? I think it's. I think it'll eventually collapse, and I'll tell you what I think. The same thing that collapsed uh, the Roman Empire. Mm. And, and let's let's just be honest with you. What was going on? A lot of shit that shouldn't have been going on, and I'm just going to say a lot of homosexuality. Mm -hmm. and, and what's being pushed today? That's the agenda. Yeah. They just gave this guy some money to be on a beer can because he's a trans man. Yeah. You know, oil oil ovale sponsoring him too. He's a dude with a dick, bro. Yeah. You couldn't have given it, you couldn't have given it to a woman. Right. You know, and we're seeing the same thing. You know, history repeats itself. Mm -hmm. And if it's gonna collapse, it's gonna collapse. And let us learn from the from the past mm -hmm. so that we don't make future mistakes like that. But this right. is where it's going, bro. Yeah. Uh, uh they, they have a voice we don't anymore. Right. But I'm not gonna shut up, I'm gonna speak. Mm -hmm. You know, so anyways. It, yeah. Once again, let me repeat that. Is the American Empire collapsing uh purposely? Or is it part of a bigger, more evil plan for the future? Well, I think those are both the same. Okay. <laughs> I thought so too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to me, it's already collapsed. I mean, so it's, it's just, it's, it's about saving how many people you can save, you know? And people go, well, how do we do that? Well, getting the fuck out of every major city, you know? Because I think the, the first things that are going to hit, whether it's a, a, a germ that they're going to put on the people or or a bomb that's going to hit it's going to be on on the strategically on a major city wow and i always tell people you know chicago um new york is all is a must and los angeles is a must oh, yeah definitely definitely those three um <clears throat> next question what's your guys's favorite oldie song i, I don't have one mm -hmm. I, I love oldies and it says an artist and group mm. um I, I don't have just one but the first i mean because I just love it all, bro. I mean, I don't know if people consider this oldie. I consider it soul. I, like, I love James Brown. I consider, um, uh -huh. I like Al Green. I, I love the Delphonics. I love Brenton Wood. And it just goes on and on and on. Yeah. So I just can't, I don't have one. What about you, Marvelous? Um, man, I have, I can't name one either. I got, I got a gang of them. If people go on my, my page, uh, Marvelous Minds on YouTube, they could go to my playlist and see all my songs. Okay. I got a gang of, of music. But, there you um, go. I mean, Zoom, um, Love Seasons um lost in a dream um don't stop by one way um i was just we were just jamming out to that before we even uh started but yeah there's so many there's a lot of them you know okay okay so <clears throat> here, this is a funny one I, I don't even want you to answer it i'm just gonna read it yeah yeah okay marvelous is you could is if <laughs> if you could go five rounds in a ring with anyone Iron Jacket, American Cholo, uh, <laughs> Lucky, or anyone else, who would it be? I'm going to leave that one alone, okay? But I just wanted to read it because I promise that I read you guys' questions. Okay, question for Marvelous. Uh, I can't answer that? Okay, go for it. <laughs> okay, Iron Jacket, American Cholo, 
or Lucky or anyone else. Those oh, are the, they're man. giving you. Hey, those are all. I love all of them. Okay, five but rounds. Let's just, let's just um. Can you put that on a on a on a? Oh no, you can't put it on a stat, huh? Like if people like who would who would the audience rather want to see me in? The yeah, room you, with? you know. You, you, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So, look at look at just so you guys don't think that I'm trying to start something. Yeah, yeah. This is just for fun. No, no. But what I'm saying is this: this is a question, and I'm trying to see who who did it. Uh, tu carnal seventy four fifty four. Who would I go five rounds with? Yeah. Who would you go five rounds with? Iron Jacket. The Russian. Uh, American Cholo. Lucky. Okay. These questions are all on my community on YouTube. So you guys don't think I pull a fucking the rabbit Hungarian out of a hat. The German. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys go ahead and uh, go to, the, let, let, let me know when it's up, okay? Okay, question for Marvelous. Are the Northern Lights, uh, man, some of these guys, are the Northern Lights what they are or tote? No, it's thought to be or do they appear in a different way? But you know what? Please, next time you guys submit, please check your, your grammar. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So once again, Marvelous, are the Northern Lights what they are thought to be? Or do they appear in a different way? I, I really don't understand the question. No, I think it, I think it's more of a, when you look at a, when you look at a, um, a, say you blow a bubble, right? Right. And you look at, you can see the iridescence in the bubble. Okay. Because you, you're closer to the roundness of, of looking at it. Right. And I think because people are closer to, to the firmament of, of mm -hmm. where, where it occurs right there, they're able to see it because they're closer to the ether. If people don't know what ether is, it's the it's electromagnetic frequency that's right like below the firmament. Okay. Now, since you use bubble, yeah. I, I'm going to ask you. Bubble's round though, right? But a bubble, bro. <laughs> the, the firmament is not... I'm not talking about under. I'm talking about I'm just... I'm being sarcastic. The firmament. Yeah. Has there ever been flat bubbles? <laughs> hey, there is. You know, okay. and I, there's a flat uh, go on YouTube okay. there's a, there's a, I think he's called the bubble master okay. um, he blows square bubbles bro really? like yeah flat bubble like oh, <laughs> it, right. sound, it sounds crazy but he does it all right he does all right. it all right let's see what's your take on the AI voice templates artificial marvelous coming soon that's fucked up where they're able to imitate your voice and all that and your facial feature okay 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 see like okay let's just say marvelous that they're able to tape your voice yeah and let's just say they get your voice and some rotten ass female wants to set you up. Uh-huh. Look, here is, he called me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, baby? Yeah. I want you. You know, I, I got to have you. I'll lick your toes. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll give you a back rub. You know, whatever. How do you prove that that's not you? I have no idea. Bro, you would have to ha you gotta hire uh, uh, somebody that analyzes all that shit and breaks it down. And who has the money to do that? I think the only way that they can do something like that is that they have to get really fucking technical, check your phone record, see if you made that fucking call. There's a dude that does a good job at it. On, I forgot his IG name, but he puts Arnold Schwarzenegger on every fucking like movie and shit. That shit's like funny. Wow. Yeah. See, but you, you, I mean, if you can manipulate text messages, DMs, yeah, voiceovers, mm -hmm. any heartless person can, can fuck somebody's life up with mm -hmm. that, bro, by releasing shit. Look, he's yeah. doing it. Yep. You know. It's getting, it's getting scary, bro. Okay, uh, question for Marvelous. Has heard of, has he heard of Billy Carson? If yes, what are the thoughts, opinion uh, on him? Billy Carson. I don't know Billy Carson. Billy is. Carson. Billy I Carson. Heard, I heard uh, Bill Carson, but that's from the good, bad, and the ugly. That's the, um, Billy Carson is that guy that does that show, right? Um, I don't know. Billy Carson. Oh, the, the you know what? That dude, that dude put up truth um, in the beginning of his videos. Okay. But now this guy mixes a lot of bullshit. Like he's really, he's talking about planets and aliens and how the Bible's a manipulation. He just put out a, a video uh, today or yesterday on, on a scripture and how there's an older Bible that was found. He's always happening here. Is he a black dude? Yeah, it's the black dude. I know like, who the hell he yeah. is. And he, he has a chick with him now. He has like a, I guess oh, a girlfriend or something. Okay. And they're both making videos and talking about like, how much does she really know? Like, are you serious? I know, I know. And, but him, he always, I don't know how it's just him finding out everything. Like, it's just him. 
Like, you know, there's no, there's never been anybody else that I ever heard of what he's talking about, but somehow he has these pictures of these ancient things. And yeah, you can Google anything and put it up there, make it look <clears> like <throat> it. Yeah. Like, like my son sent me one of him where he was saying, uh, this man right here in the Bible says that he was Jesus teacher. And I'm like, yeah. Mijo, are you serious? He yeah. goes, well, he said it. Mm -hmm. See, but that's where we're at today. Yeah. That people, you, you know, back in the day, people used to get their theology from like a uh, and &E channel because they have a white guy with a Benny Hinn haircut. Mm -hmm. uh, he's wearing an old ass suit and they put Bible scholar. And because they're white, we would say, he's a scholar. It's right there. Yeah. And we believe everything he fucking said. Yeah. Today, we got people doing the same fucking shit. Mm -hmm. They'll, sh they'll show, show a picture of an old ass book. Look, the book mm -hmm. is, he showed yeah. the book. Yeah. Or those ones that there's um, archaeologists that they'll, they'll they'll be filming and they're digging a hole and all of a sudden they find like a uh, an ancient fucking like flask Relic. from yeah like come uh, on homie I mean I could be digging in my fucking yard but say I'm in Egypt and then I I put this there and I'm like yeah oh, this thing is seven thousand million years old. I'll bet you'll get a hundred thousand views if you did that tomorrow I know I know so I'm in Egypt guys mm -hmm. you know anyways but yeah okay. Um... Tony, have you taken Marvelous to Red West yet? Okay, this dude's probably from Wilmington. No, not yet, but I will. Uh, uh, Red West is a pizza place out here. It's an old school pizza place. Okay, uh, what your guys take on Swifty? Oh, God. <laughs> it says, what your guys. Okay. No. What's your guys' take on Swifty and King Little G incident and Swifty recording himself dissing 18 and random guy in front of store. That's what the, how he put it. I heard, okay, let me, let me go first. Ah. I heard to, somebody send me a video that somebody was talking about, yeah, King Little G slapped Sw Swifty Blue. Okay, first and foremost, Marvelous, I don't care. Uh -huh. I don't care if he got slapped, he didn't get slapped. I don't care for that cheese man. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's what I heard. I didn't see no footage. I didn't see no fucking video. I didn't see. It, I just got cheese men that people were telling me, "You got slapped. You got slapped. You got mm -hmm. slapped." I don't mm -hmm. care. What's your take on it? I think that that issue. First of all, I think that it's nobody's business. Like if if he did that or not. Um, you know, if he got slapped or he didn't get slapped, that's that's kind of embarrassing, anyways. You know, there was somebody, another an individual that got slapped on camera, and that that was embarrassing. You know, that kind of yeah. I, I believe that ended his career. Yeah. You know. Um, and that's sad, you know, it, it, it's sad for people that have to put, go through that, that, that extreme where you have to validate you. Okay. I'm a man or I'm bigger than you or I'm down or I'm from this barrio and your barrio ain't shit or whatever. At the end of the day, it, it ain't about neighborhood shit. It's not about 18th street and it's not about Paramount. It's about just these two young guys that are trying to, trying to reflect to the the communities out here that my the, the our people that oh i'm a man i'm down or i could rap better than you or i'm a i'm a fucking king and i'm a fucking whatever the other one wants to think he is you know they're both they're both young-minded that's what they are and they need they both need more wisdom than what they're putting out because that energy that they're feeding our our rasa that, that's garbage because there's more there's more important things that are going on in the communities than to worry about who the fuck got slapped and if you did get slapped, go handle your business like a man. Don't make a video about it on what you're going to do and let the DA know what the fuck you're going to do. And all everybody else, everybody that every, and people don't go, oh, that person's a rat. That person's a rat. No, everybody that shared that fucking video is a rat. You shared it. You talked about it. You're a rat. Yeah. You're, you're letting everybody know. So even if even if that, that dude, Little G, did even have a video, I'm sure he's not dumb enough to put something out because the DA is going to pick it up. Yeah, you know. So I mean, I hope I hope he doesn't. If he really did do it, and right. you know, these guys could should just take this shit off the fucking little bit internet. Start, stop trying to get their likes and go handle this shit like a fucking man. Look, my last thought on it. Okay, and this is just not for them, but this is just for everyone who, when something like this happens, they immediately run to the internet. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, you know they, they want to post about it. Yep. Okay. Don't do that shit. Mm -hmm. Just go handle your fucking business. Just go fucking fight, bro. Honestly, go mm -hmm. fucking fight. That, that's between you guys. You know, if, if, if I have an issue with you, you know, Marvin, and you have an issue with me, I'm just going to call you. Yeah. I'm not going to go on here mm -hmm. and say, fuck you, Marvelous. What's up, homie? Mm -hmm. you, there has to be, there shouldn't be no cameras. Mm -hmm. There shouldn't be no homies. Mm -hmm. Just you by yourself, just come meet me. And after that, it's fucking over. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That, that's just the way you handle your shit. Nobody needs to know. We don't want to know. We don't care. Mm -hmm. 
handle your shit, you know? Um, other than that, yeah, I don't, as, as, I don't really care what the fuck. So, anyways, and you guys shouldn't either. Nobody cares. Um, you, you, know, you know, last message. Stop running to podcasters to squash your beef. <laughs> Stop running to podcasters to squash your beef. Hey, bro, Tony, can, can you interview me so we can squash this beef? What the fuck? Hmm. Look, uh, Night Owl, okay? When I considered him a friend, mm -hmm. he had something going on with Misfit. Mm -hmm. At that time, I had love for Misfit, you know, and I still do. But they were going at it on the internet. I was like, you know, Night Owl, you're in your 50s, bro. Come on, mm -hmm. okay? When he came here, he was partially blind. He could barely walk, mm -hmm. okay? And I say that respectfully. I don't say that to put the man down. Mm -hmm. I called up Misfit and I said, hey, bro, this is my friend. Can you talk about it? Can you just talk about it? You know, mm -hmm. and he said, okay. So they came in, they met, they sat right here on this mm -hmm. table mm -hmm. and they squashed it. They shook hands and we yeah. had a conversation. After that, Marvelous, I had dudes that had beef with other people. Mm -hmm. Hey, dude, uh, you think you can help me squash my beef? Yeah. What the fuck? Like, I'm not a referee, bro. Yeah. This was just my friend and I, I was going to be working with this guy. So I just wanted... So my thing is stop going to podcasters to squash your motherfucking beef. Mm -hmm. Squash your beef in the streets, meet up with that guy, and yes, mm -hmm. do they, they both talk about unity from what I've, what I've heard. I've, I've seen a couple of little clips and shit, and they, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Since they like the views and they like the likes and they both to talk about unity and bringing the raza together, sit your ass down in front of the camera, both like men and like, you know, and talk that shit out. If that's what you guys want, go for it. You know, if, if, if views turn you on, go for it. So... Anyways, um, ask the homie, Mortal Kombat 2 or Street Fighter 2? Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, I got that shit in my pad. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> Street Fighter. I, I like the original Mortal Kombat and I like the original Street Fighter. I was good at fucking both of them. Okay, what's your thoughts, Bud Light or other companies that are using pride or trans propaganda on everything? Okay, so once again, these are on the community, so I'm not whipping, taking nothing out of my ass here. So go ahead, <clears throat> go ahead. What the piso, the beer? Yeah, I guess. Oh, I don't, like, like, what I don't, are, what I don't are your even thoughts? know. I don't. I don't even know. I don't, I don't even pay attention to none of that, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. I didn't even know they were promoting any of that. Yeah, they have that trans guy on that on that uh, on the Bud Light can. Oh, really? I didn't even know that. Yeah, and they I had, don't even. Drink, I never drank, but I've never been into that. Yeah, me neither. And then the, and then, water and then the rainbow. <laughs> no, yeah, they put the rain drinking that thing. Yeah, so yeah. So, so once again, what are your thoughts on the Bud Light or the companies that are using Pride? Yeah, I don't know. I, I wouldn't fuck with. I don't support none of that. To be straight out. Yeah, of course, you know. But I mean, I got friends that are gay, bisexual, whatever. But I mean, they do their thing on the on themselves. They don't bring that shit around. Yeah, they me. don't come disrespect. Nah, with fuck it. no. Yeah, and, and I, I know I know a couple of guys like that too. That they never, ever like. Hey Tony, you look cute today. I get, <laughs> you know, now I get guys on the comments that tell me that shit, hey, bro. Get it, Tony? Get you know, it. and and I'm like, <laughs> you know what? I try to be nice, but I'm like, just don't do that to me, please. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that to me. Yeah. You know, cool. It, you know, if you want to play, oh wait, let me just change the subject. Fuck it, because I'll go. <laughs> okay. Asking for words of wisdom, please. How does one find a balance to stay level headed and quiet with being straightforward enough to not let it, not let a belligerent person walk all over you? In other words, um, how does one find balance to stay level headed and quiet when someone is trying to come at you? You know, uh, I guess a belligerent person watch, walking all over you. Like if somebody's trying to walk all over you, he wants wisdom. Like, how do you, you know what? I'm going to give an example. And maybe this isn't the right example, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna word this correctly either. So don't don't um well, don't, don't judge me too hard on what I'm gonna say. So I've always got I've always had um had issues because I'm a, you know I'm a shorter guy you know, and um at a young age you know I got into martial arts or whatever five years old whatever um I traveled I got sponsored yeah. Um, I, I did all that shit, you know, went to the junior Olympics, won a, a, a bunch of shit, did, of all, did my thing, you know, I always had, I always had the feeling that I had to go above and beyond because, you know, fuck that. Everybody's just 
thinking that they're gonna dog me out. Yeah. And that shit ain't gonna happen. Like you're gonna you gotta kill me. And not to sound all like that, you know? Of course. But it's just my grandpa raised me like that. You know, I'm I'm the underdog. I'm forever gonna be the underdog. Fuck it. You know, m make an example out of every fucking buddy that does test you. Right. So all right, cool. So um getting into my barrio shit, which I'm not gonna touch uh, uh, too much on. Um, I acted a certain way. I always, you know, made sure, you know, I was the first, you know, in the front, whatever, doing stupid shit, making bad decisions. That was me. But um, later on in life, now after all this, you know, podcasting shit, you know, I, I've I've come, I've 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 grown through all my years. You know, I think I've 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 um, and only people can tell by what I'm what I'm projecting if I I I am a man of wisdom or not. Or if I'm really for unity or I'm just trying to do shit for myself or whatever, right? So um, a, a month, about a month ago, uh, I, I go, uh, people see me everywhere. I go to restaurants with my daughter, with my kids. This time I go a lot of places by myself. And this time I'm by myself. And um, I see um, for, they're straight out their gang members in this, this Applebee's or whatever. And um, they're, <laughs> they're probably watching right now. And um so I go sit down, I'm by myself, and, I, I, you know, I keep peripherals on. I'm, 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 I'm alert at all times, you know? So one of the gentlemen, he makes his way. At, uh, about almost the time I'm finishing up, the waiter's talking to me. And one of the gentlemen, he's standing right in the back of the, the waiter. And I'm like, does this fool fucking know me from YouTube? Or is he, you know, a fuck, an enemy guy, you know? Because there's three other fools I got to worry about that are with him. And um, he's just looking, at, and the waiter goes by. And I'm like, hey, what's up, homie? Like, you know me or what? And he goes... Oh yeah, I just, can I talk to you real quick? Can I talk to you? And I'm like, yeah, homie. Like, what's up? And he's just standing right there. I'm like, you're gonna you're gonna sit down, or you're gonna you, what are you gonna do, homie? Because if you keep standing up and you're right there just looking at me, I'm gonna take it as disrespect. I said, like, what do you want to do? And he goes, oh no, I just want to sit down, homie. You know, I, I want to talk to you. You know, I, I want to see where your head's at. And I'm 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 like, okay, so what's up? And he goes. Now, you know, I just want to know because I see you all over, you know, YouTube and you talk about unity and this, but I don't know you like that. I don't know you like that. And, it, and I'm like, what are you, I'm looking at this, this, you know, he's younger. He's a younger kid, you know, he's in his early 20s. And I'm like, damn, this, who the fuck is this? He's like, who the fuck, you know me? Where you know me from, homie? He goes, yeah, you know, yeah. well, I'm from so-and-so, you know, I'm from this or whatever. And I remember, you know, back in the days and, and you were driving in your car and I was walking with two of the homies and, and you got out the car and you didn't even give me a chance to talk and, and. No bullshit, man. I'm not even gonna say no name, nothing like that. This this dude start a man. He's a man, you know. To me, he's a boy because I'm older, whatever. Of but it's a grown man, and he he starts crying. He starts crying right here at the, at the table while, while I'm right there, and his his wife comes over with the kid. Here, his kid, I guess it's his kid, and she's trying to get him, and he's saying, "Nah, like I'm talking," and I'm like, yeah, "How do I get this out of the scene? Right, you know, right. where's this gonna go? You know what I mean?" And I'm like, I'm, I, "I'm thinking in my head, like there's cameras right here, like you know what, what's gonna happen, you know?" So he starts saying, "Yeah, you didn't give me a chance to talk, and you were, you had me lift up my shirt and take off my shirt and see my tattoos, and you were just in my face in your neighborhood and all this and that and like that, and and I'm telling him, yeah, homie." I'm from a barrio. I'm from a gang. That's what we do. Like, what do you want me to, what do you expect from me, homie? You expect me to, for me to say, I'm sorry for the way I used to be? Like, I've grown a lot. Like, now I'm not like that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching unity and I want better for uh, all the, all the barrios, you know, to come together and, and realize what we're doing. And I was in, I was ignorant at that time. You know, I was ignorant at that time. Yeah. And if you feel like that, homie, then, you know, I, I, that shit, that's your personal thing. You know, I don't know. I don't know what you expect. Expect me to say. He goes, no, I just want to know where you're, where you're at. And, you know, dog, because I see you. And, and you know, and it, and it was like, it was something that I had to really, you know, think about. Bro, like, this person is kind of be disrespectful the way he, the way he's like, he seems really aggravated and shit. Right, right. But then I need to come to realize, it, should I just jump like the way I, I would jump? Or should I just... Let this person air himself out, and me just I could if I could end it at a, at a, at a on a better on a better line of communication. Yeah. Then hey, why not? You know, if you know you could you could overcome somebody, why what, don't you just become a bully? You know, and I'm not trying to bully. I'm not saying I'm, I'm gonna beat the fuck out this vato, but right. I'm just saying like, if you know that you're you could really hurt somebody, why are you gonna go ahead and push the issue? Like, hey, homie, it's cool. I was I, I used to think like you. Like, don't even trip, you know? Later on, five years from now, ten years from now, you're going to understand, homie. Your mind will be somewhere else. You know, you won't be so angry. You know, you might be angry at some other shit right now and taking it out because I, I was like that. Right, right. I was angry at other shit, not having a dad in my life, fucking being addicted to dope. Like, and I was taking it out on everybody, on other gang members that were trying to do the same thing to me, that were going through the same thing I was going through. 
So how 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 much of a man would that make me? You know what I mean? So yeah. that's I guess about my explaining it right. You know? Okay. Well, you know, here's my thing, marvelous, and you know, and I'm trying to give a little bit of wisdom here. So let me just say a few things. When we talk about turning the other cheek, it doesn't mean let the guy sock you up and offer him the other one. Facts. If you can avoid problems and issues and trouble, walk away from it. Yeah. Walk away from it if you can avoid that. Now, with me, I'm a straight shooter, bro. Uh, the way I talk is the way I talk. You know, I, I speak forward, but it keeps people from coming at me sideways. Okay? Because when they talk to me, I'm going to talk to them just like this. Mm-hmm. And it keeps them from coming at me sideways. Mm -hmm. I don't say that to try to say that I'm this tough guy because I'm not. My thing is, but I am a man. Mm -hmm. I I will protect myself. I'll protect my home, my family, my grandchildren, all of that. It has nothing to do with gangs or anything like that. I'm just a man. But now, as far as my thing is, there's been times, and I think you'll understand, that I have gotten disrespectful with people so that I can get my respect. Mm -hmm. Because some people push it too far. Yeah. You're, you stay in your own lane and some motherfuckers get in your lane. Mm-hmm. And then you have to tell them, hey, bro, that there's fucking boundaries. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it calls for aggression. And sometimes if you can just walk away from it, walk away from it, you know. Mm-hmm. But sometimes I've known people that are just so kind, that are so nice. And some people think that oh, I could walk all over this motherfucker, mm-hmm. you know. And that's when you just most likely have to stand up for yourself. Yeah. So, you know what? If you're not one of these guys that's looking for shit stay that way avoid the trouble but at the same time eventually you probably will have to stand up for yourself so um hopefully we answered that correctly if not hey call in okay um here we go right here's another one ask marvelous his take on dr stephen greer he has a documentary called unacknowledged regarding the government and aliens gracias tony and marvelous uh there's a San Jose. Stephen Greer, Stephen Greer. That yeah. means the bell. There's so many people that are doing the same shit. Let, yeah. me, see. Let me look him up. Real that quick. he has a documentary called Stephen Un- M. Greer, right? No, he just oh. put Greer. Oh, shit. G R E E. Yeah. I don't know if okay. that's him. Unacknowledged. That's the name of the documentary. I've oh. never heard of it, but I'll definitely check it out. Regarding the government and aliens. Gracias. So. Yeah, I don't, I'm at to look that up. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't answer that oh, okay. correctly right yeah, now. Yeah, me bad. neither. I don't. I don't know it. Okay. Um, oh, let me here see. He is. Question for Marvelous: What is your take on the production, distribution of music on the 440 hertz? Why is the standard not 432 hertz? It should be 432 because 432 is a is a it aligns with our frequency. If okay. you are, if you are, um, see, there's, there's different bloodlines that are here and, um, some of them are, are, are an offspring of the fallen and okay. those aren't our frequency vibration. Um, for, for those, <laughs> they're going to go into deep, deep, that I'm over talking like no, go about for it. alien shit. But anyways, um, the 432, that's our, that's like, it, it's, it's a harmony. You know, and a lot of the stuff that they do when they, when, like we talked about the last time on, I think it was on Freaky Tales. We talked about how they do this whole ritual and shit. Yeah. When they, um, what, uh, they master, they master music. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. Have you ever seen the ceremony? No, I never have. Oh, no? Yeah. So, I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a form of agitation. That's all it is, you know? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, a message and question from Brad Pitbull. Congratulations on the positive influence in the world by sharing your humble perspective of life and the use of social media to share it to so many. You have shown the ups and downs of life, shown the durability of an individual who chooses to keep growing and going forward, regardless of what obstacle challenges lay ahead. Uh, With that being said, I recently read measure a thousand times cut once. Measure a thousand times cut once. Have you heard of that? Make sure. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you think of the cliche? And when we, when will you be uploading content to your YouTube? He said this month for the YouTube. But what do you think of the the cliche? And I think that you should always make sure. I think that you should make sure before those those words come out of your mouth. I think you should you should make sure a thousand times and every and everything that has to do with every every decision a a decision is to you know measure measure the frequency of the voice of your tone 
um, how you're speaking to people. People misconstrued a lot of shit. They could yeah. think that we're talking, we're being disrespectful or, or whatever the fuck, and we're not. We only want better because we've been through that. Right. You know? So, I mean, just make sure and everything, you know? People, we rush, at, and it's just being young. You right. know, we rush into a lot of shit. We get married too young. We go from relationship to relationship. We fucking, you know, we want to um, test out different drugs. We want to join fucking gangs because for different various reasons or whatever. Right. And it's just us being young, you know? And I think that's, that's taken away from us even more because we don't got those father figures around. We don't. We don't. It, yeah. ta it takes a man to raise a man. You know, today you got women raising men. And uh, how uh, you can't. And this ain't a takeaway from the women, but women can't raise a warrior. You can't. It, and, and, you know, and let's let's give love and much props to the good women. Yep. The the honorable women. Yep. And I have to say honorable because not all mothers are honorable. Facts. Okay. I only say happy Mother's Day to the honorable women. That's right. Okay. I don't say happy Father's Day just to some dude who stuck his weenie in a girl and, oh, I got kids. You know. Mm -hmm. No, bro, you got to father your kids. Mm -hmm. You got to father your kids. Mm -hmm. You take care of your kids. You take care of your daughter. Mm -hmm. Father your children because if you don't, the streets will, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, so, but no, I, I agree with you. I, we do have a lot of people that, dude, let's be honest, our masculinity is being, look, our generation is going to pass away one day. Yeah. And what's going to happen to the next one, bro? Mm -hmm. If we, we, we strip them of their masculinity, we have a generation of women that are trying to do their best, mm -hmm. good mothers that are trying to, do, to raise their kids. But you know what? We need, good fathers and let me say this kids need fathers that they can be proud of yeah exactly so, real fathers yeah real fathers so okay let's go to the next one uh, let's see this is kind of a long one can you speak a bit on the inca empire inca civilization and elaborate on what the media on what made the inca people special I mean, you're asking a question, bro, which you're not going to get an answer like this. I'll give them one answer. Yes. One thing about them that was really, really special is that they, they, um, when they wrote things down, they wrote it, they did it in not a not system. Did you, did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah. They, they did it. That was like, they, uh, they still can't decipher that to this day. You know, their, their system of, of, um, composing different knots together. Right. The reason why I say you cannot give a short answer is because I'm not done with his questions. Oh, oh shit. See, oh, see, so that, that's, that's, it's like, that was a book right there, homie. Yeah. Like I get it, bro. But you know what? Okay. Yeah. Through your teachings, I have been able to trace back my bloodline to the Inca civilization. and have learned my actual language of origin and I don't want to butcher the word, but it's a Q. Quechua, that's what it sounds like, and not Spanish. And also, uh, that my my cross is the I, bro. I don't want to say Chaka Khan, but that's what it looks like, and, and not the Latin cross. Okay. Do you have an email address you uh, you can be contacted at? Well, if you don't have Instagram, well, you could reach him on Instagram. But if not, maybe you can give us emails. Okay, I have a question about culture your podcast and many other things that uh, may require far more time than a telephone call can provide. Okay. Thank you for inspiring me to find my roots. All my respects to you, to your familia. Saludos from Canada, Chile. That's right. I appreciate you. Thank you yes, so much. Absolutely. Absolutely. I send my respects to your family as well. Thank you. Okay. That, that's a beautiful thing though. Hope he talks about the matrix that happened to him with the house keys. Oh shit. Yeah, you seen that? I posted a video up. No, no well, you showed it to me. Yeah, did I? Yeah, and you walked me through it. You were talking to me. Oh, yeah. You look at it right now. So you want to talk about it? I mean, it's just, you know, self-explanatory. But, yeah, what happened was is I had these these keys, and um, they're separate on my on my keychain. But I have one that um, it's closer to. I, you know, I usually keep it closer to a bigger key, you know, so I know right. which one's in my house key. And then there's a key on a totally another ring, like on the other side right here, that hangs on the bottom. So when I locked the first door, I locked I locked my key, but all of a sudden this key to lock the second door, it was this key in my hand now. And I don't there's been there's a lot of people posting up um, you know, they call them glitches in the matrix. Like the there's one of the girl you can put type in girl cutting lemon. She cuts the lemon like twice and then she gets a bag to put it in, and then she goes over and it's not cut. And in the video you see her cut it. What, what, what do you think that is like like how do you explain yeah. that i know i know you don't have all the answers yeah, in the world but 
I, like sometimes I just ask rhetorical questions on is is that what the fuck happened? Did we think we cut it and we didn't? I mean, that's on video. Yeah, that's uh, on uh, mine's on video. Right. You know, so I don't. I have no idea how to explain that, bro. I can't. Yeah. Okay. Um, question for Marvelous: Is he familiar with Billy Carson once again? And if so, any opinion on him or his work? Maybe having a conversation with the two of them. That'd be dope. In fact, I, I I would love to have a conversation. You know, he seems to be a a, a knowledgeable person, somewhat. But uh, I think most of the shit that, that he's speaking about is all propagated. It's, it's being handed to him. It's a script, you know? Okay. All right. Um, you know what? And that was pretty much all of our questions. Dope, dope questions. Uh, um, you, how long have we had that, that thing going on for? Okay, go ahead and give us the results. I already know. I haven't even looked at it. Okay. 369 votes. Uh, the the question is five rounds. Marvelous versus, and uh, 21% said Iron Jacket. 44% said Lucky. Uh, 26% said American Cholo, and uh, 10% said someone else. Someone? Oh, you put someone else. I yeah. was like, who's the someone else? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Now, um, I, I, well, one question, uh, it might open up more, but this question before we take calls. Um, I've been seeing this a lot, and I, I think it, it's a concern because I have grandbabies that are children, children, mm -hmm. you know, three, four, five years old, you know, and a newborn. And you, you also have young children. Mm -hmm. What do you think about these gender-neutral bathrooms? Uh, and you have a daughter named Heaven. How, how old is she? If I 13. Say? 13. If I may use, respectfully use an example. Yeah, go ahead. Say she walks into a restroom and it's gender neutral. Right. Then you see a man walking right behind that her. That ain't happening. And they made, the, they made it so messed up that the, that the laws that they're, that they're handing out to people that even attack one of them or whatever the hell, for whatever he thinks or whatever, they're high. And then plus, if you're involved in a gang, well, you're going to get in a gang injunction on that, which is going to add... Five, ten years on whatever other charges you have. If you have a weapon, right? Um, anything, aggravated assault. Um, it's going to be a form of um, what do you call that? Um, that crime when you attack another a hate crime. A hate crime. There you yeah. go. Okay, but I I don't give a shit. It ain't happening. Right. And even if I mean, if I seen your granddaughter in the restroom and there's a dude going in there, it ain't happening. Yeah, it's not. You know, um, look, before we get all the hate mail. Let me say this, that there are straight women that are married, mm -hmm. that go into restrooms, and men that identify themselves as women. Mm -hmm. Look, straight like fucking men, but mm -hmm. I identify myself as a woman, so they walk in, mm -hmm. okay? Put on their fucking pants, weenie hanging out and everything in front of these kids and women. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of w women coming forward saying that it's just not fair. Yeah. Like that one dude, I don't know his name, he's a swimmer. Uh -huh. He sucked. Swimming against dudes. Yeah. But now, now he's he had beating all the women. Huh? Yeah, he's a trans man now yeah. or a trans woman. I don't know what to call uh -huh. him. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but now he goes and he 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 wins, okay? Yeah. The woman <laughs> who trained all her life for this competition yeah. actually tied him, but they gave him the trophy because uh -huh. they told her he needs the trophy for pictures. Wow. Yeah. And this is a straight woman that complained, bro. Uh -huh. Where is her voice? Mm. You know, uh, why do these people get special treatment? Yeah. You know, I mean, can you imagine I, I just want to go in there and ch chill with some women and I'm like, fuck it. And the woman tells me, what are you doing here? I identify myself as a woman. Yeah. We can just say that now. Yeah. You know, and, and let's be honest. Look, first and foremost, I don't care if you're a dude named Clark and you want to throw a fucking a, a sundress on with no with a G string and mm -hmm. call yourself Claire. Mm -hmm. D go for it. That's on you. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, you're not going to walk into the restroom when my, my, my granddaughters are in there, bro. Right. It, you, it's just not happening. Right. And there's still a lot of people like us, bro, that stand up for what we believe is right. If mm -hmm. you can believe what's right and stand up for it, so can we. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and in today, some people don't even want to be, be referred to as names. Him, she, we, yeah. they, Shem, yeah. whatever the fuck you want to call yeah. yourself, bro. You, you, you know, I'm going to say one thing that I thought was kind of weird. 
when I read it. In the Bible, demons refer to themselves as pronouns. Mm -hmm. Jesus asked this man from Gadara and asked him, what is your name? He said, Legion, for we mm -hmm. are many. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to leave the best point you brought up right now. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that because you know what? Uh, uh, we need to start speaking up for what's right. Yep. And I, I, we, I mean, we like us men, us women need to stick together and stand up for what's right. Cause if, if we don't say nothing and if we just kind of like say, well, we'll just leave them. It's, they're going to take over, bro. Mm -hmm. And eventually we won't have a voice, you know, so we do have a voice. So let's use it. Yep. So anyways, um, Let's go ahead and put the number up and let's go ahead and get these calls. <clears throat> okay, let me see. Let me know once I'm connected, Alex. Oh. Uh, no, let's wait till after. Let's wait till after. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's see. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's get this party started. Let's get, let's get going. <laughs> Pastor Wizard. Well... <laughs> uh, I'd rather take some tacos al pastor. So, all right, let's go, you guys. Uh, is the number up? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's calm down over there, Norbies. <laughs> Here we go. Call her your name and where are you calling from? San Jose. What's good, my brother? How you doing today? What's good. What's up? How are you guys doing? Oh, brother, I'm blessed. I can never complain. I just want to ask Marvelous what you thought about all this um, chat GBT, artificial intelligence going on. You, you want to ask who? Me. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Marvelous. Hey, how, how you doing, bro? Um, your co-host. Yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um man i think it, I, it it's it's you know it seems like it's cool in a way but then when you really think about it man it, it's not cool you know they're they're able to manipulate anything man like you know tony was saying earlier they, they could throw your your voice and they could frame the shit out of you if they wanted to man they you know i mean but the possibilities of, of, of them doing some cool shit in a movie i mean that that would be cool you know but in reality, I think a lot of people, they're going to say, oh, this this program got leaked and now there's people using it to hack into bank accounts or now they, you know, there's always something being leaked to the to the to the masses somehow. And it's always used in a, in a bad way. You know, something that was meant for good is always used in a bad way. It always seems that it's leaked like that, you know, so I think in a, in, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, I have mixed emotions about that, bro. Because you know how they're trying to compare it. They're trying to say it's like a I inter and artificial intelligence god. Oh yeah. You know they're they're trying to throw out that term. Oh well, that, because but what's the opposite? Yeah, well that's that's like a, okay. We talked about the um that um that airport um the last time where they have all those murals, the Denver airport, Denver, right? Yeah. And they have they have um you know Lu Lucifer coming back as a as a genetic like something that's computerized a main a main frame computer that they want everybody to be connected to through, the, through this chip that they're going to be you know implementing on the masses and um they want you synced in with him you know and and think about that bro you're throwing you're throwing we're already electromagnetic a current running through our pineal gland and if you throw a, a chip and these fluids that you know people are putting in their bodies or micro um these micro um uh, um chips um yeah. They're, they're changing people's frequency in their blood, you know? Literally, it's like downloading a program into your shit. They could ag cause aggravation. They could cause depression. They could cause inflammation. They could cause all, all kinds of shit, anxiety. They could, they could cause a, a lot of shit, you know? So it's, I think it's real but, bad. But would a, chip, would a chip be cool? Like when, when you pay, you have a little chip on your ATM and you just tap it? It would I not. Mean, you could, if you, they put that on your hand, you could pay anywhere, go to your car open your home you it know would, what I mean? yeah but to you that's cool bro to you that's cool if you had if you were the only one that had access to your chip those chip or the, all those chips anything even your smart car anything that ha that's called a smart device is is synchronized to a big main a bigger mainframe 
They have access to turn off your chip if you if you if you commit a crime. If you owe money, they could take money out of your account. Um, they could throw sh sanctions on how far you get to travel. If you had a warrant, they're gonna know where you're at at all times. They could do all kinds of shit. They could open your house if if they want to assassinate you and you, say you're an organ donor. You know they have your blood type. You already signed yourself up to get hit. You know why would you give every why would you give somebody that that much access to you, bro? You know what I mean? You'll be monitored all the time. Yeah, it's like, would you give me? I don't know. But it'd be home. easier though. It'd yeah. be simpler. It'd be simpler, bro. Okay, well, I mean, that's cool. You could think of it like that. It's simpler. But is it is it good for us to live life simply, or is it good for us to learn from things? You know, am I gonna teach my son to hunt, or do I want to give him all the answers? Or like we getting softer? Yeah, we're getting softer, bro. They're breaking us down. They're demasculine, demasculine, de I can't even say that word right now. <laughs> All good. All good. He understands. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean, homie. It's, 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 you know, they're fucking us up. They're taking that warrior out of us. You mean like trying to say, like trying to say, trying to say men or women now. You know All what that. I mean? yeah. All that falls into the same agenda, bro. All that. that. All that. That's a distraction, though, right, bro? That's a distraction, what they're doing there. Right? I mean, they distract us to let, make it happen. You know, look at the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire created a thing called the Colosseum, and they had various, uh, every every type of fucking um, game you could think of they had. You know, slaves fighting slaves, animals, the biggest gladiators. And then they started inviting other other people, you know, other other ethnic groups or, and other tribes to come and join and bring their best warriors. And, and not only that, we're going to build a citadel with different stores and various fr foods. And not only that, but the kings and queens and whoever you wanted to be with various women, the kings could um, um, bring whoever you wanted, you know. So they would, they would, they would come down in, the, in dr massive droves, bro. And Rome would send a massive army out to their land to sack their land. And have have a, a big old contract waiting for them when they got back. And if they didn't submit to Rome's authority, when they called on their army to fight for their wars, to submit to their god Zeus and their 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 um their worship of Saturn and Venus and all that, they were to be crucified right there on the spot. You think these 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 countries these countrymen um, submitted to them? Sure, they did. They didn't want to die. They had a big ass Roman army that had already been accumulated. The only ones that didn't submit and kept fighting. Were the Hebrews fighting, 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 fighting? All good, caller. Thank oh, you, my brother. Oh man, thank you very much. Hey, I hear you, uh, Tony got to go. He got to go. <clears throat> All good. Let's see who's going to be the next call. We missed like seven phone calls, so let's see. You guys have been slow today. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, man? It's Danny from Orange County. What's up, my brother from Orange County? Your hey, phone sounds a little muffled. Can you speak into it? Yes, sir. I can speak into it. There you can go. You know? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, man, so I had a question. I, I agree with all you guys are saying. What do you guys think about the Fed now that's popping off this month? I am not. Too, I don't know if you guys know anything about that. About, about the but what the again? The Federal Reserve is kicking off a thing called, it's called Fed Now. Yeah, Fed it's Now. The digital currency that's going to be popping off in July. So the currency, so... Um, I don't know if you guys know anything about it, but it's something that's going to be happening in July. It's starting this month. And um, it's pretty much kind of like what you said. It's going to be kind of something where it's going to be all digital currency. Yeah. So you know, pretty much the government's going to know what everything, pretty much what you're doing. Mm -hmm. so like the mark of the beast, what you guys are talking about, mm -hmm. it's kind of somewhat what, it, what it's talking about. You're leading up to so, that. <clears throat> I don't know if a lot of people know about that. Yeah, they're, ta they're taxing that's everything. A, that's a pretty serious issue. Yeah, they want to tax exactly, everything, bro. Yeah. The the Zells, everything they want a piece of it, you know. Yeah, right, right. And with right. With, with digital yeah, and just, with digital currency, bro, it's not like they could print out money and whenever they want it. It's just that they could just, you know, push enter the key enter. They 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 have access right, to anybody, right. you know. It's all in, and that's what I'm saying, man. People, oh, I need money. I need this. I need that. Like, nah, you don't. That's in your mind. You give the value. You make the value in your head what you think a 20 and 100 is or a $5 bill or a dollar bill. Well, it, it, exactly exactly what you're saying. It's just a piece of paper with numbers. Like yeah. The value of it, right? The people think mm -hmm. of what it's worth. Yeah. The, our so, real, so our real yeah, currency right. is, is seed and, and our, our animal. That's that's our real our real shit when it leads down to it. But they made us so fucking spoiled, bro. They have supermarkets, liquor stores everywhere. That it's everything's at the at the at the at the fucking touch of a button to order this Uber, I could Uber this, whatever. Imagine all that, everything stops. 
Imagine all that stuff. Where are you going to go tomorrow to go hunt for food? Where are you going to go tomorrow to go get the formula for your baby? Where are you going to go get the toilet well, paper? To, right. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you know? Well, no, I said, you're absolutely right. Because when you were talking about earlier about the, uh, you know, the, the cars, you know, all the smart cars, all the things that's Wi Fi, 5G, yeah. all that stuff, man. Yeah. I mean, I totally, I totally understand because mm -hmm. if, if there was an, an electric, electric magnetic pulse, Mm -hmm. that would hit any satellite all mm -hmm. that shit turns off yeah you know it's not like it don't work and it's so messed doesn't work nothing works dude. yeah and it's so messed up because they're you know they're using this right here to distract it they're paying us to distract us they don't even have to distract us right, anymore right. they're paying us through these youtube through all this all this bunch of shit that aren't pushing out anything they're just garbage gossip right. everybody's worried about who fucking got slapped Instead of worrying about some real shit that's going to affect your family. Tomorrow that shit's going to hit and people are still going to be wondering who fucking slapped who. Man, slap yeah, that yourself. More. Yeah, that matters well, more. Exactly. Yeah, I get it, man. Hey, well, well yeah. Hey, keep, you guys doing a great job, man. Thank you for your time. I appreciate have you, homie. Good night. Keep doing it up, man. All right, brother. You guys have a great night. You too. Okay, let's keep it pushing. Here we go. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Raul from Corona. What's good, my bro? Uh, I had a question for Marvin. Yes, sir. Hey, Marvin, is uh, do you think Mr. Capone is like Iron Jacket in many ways and forms? <laughs> you know what, bro? I mean, he grew up in the barrio. That's cool. But, you know, how come none of the homies got a break like that? You know, how come, the, how come we never make it big like that where we're able to, you know, um, manage anybody? You know, look at the... Look at, almost every artist and this is you know this is from the artist's mouth this ain't me just gossiping about some shit you know they, they were done dirty in some type of way whether it was a contract that was written off messed up or whatever my cousin you know they had a little deal for my cousin um they call him big sick nasty um you know it was uh i forgot what kind of a deal it was bro but it, it was a it was a really messed up deal where he had to promote all their shit everything through his social media they had access to everything and he couldn't do shit like for so many years, they were he wasn't able to do nothing, and he had a. They were gonna get all the. I think it was the residuals from from whatever he made, like you know, and it was just for them him being a part of their name. Like, what kind of shit is that? Like, you know what I mean? Are you really like here to help people, or are you or are you just trying to feed off of them like a leech? Like, you know, and it, I mean. It, this is from uh, all the stories that you hear from the different rappers. They've all given their interviews and shit. And it's kind of like it sounds. They, they all had a mess up story in some type of way, you know. Whether they had a fallen out, whether they're talking now, that's cool, whatever. But you know, I want to see somebody from our culture make it, man. To be a fucking uh, a CEO of a, 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 a CEO of a fucking um co major corporation, you know. Who who do you have that that made it recently? That's that's actually making shit. Maybe the 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 dude that made the hot Cheetos, you know, they made, making the movie about that but i mean come on there's a lot of us that have real deep stories that you know they need to be heard heard and i think it's all about us sticking together too you know if we stop you know cheese mostly che being cheese mostly about a lot of shit and talking down on somebody that that is making it i think we'll get further too you know what i mean okay that's it that's all the question i have cool thank you bro appreciate you homie <clears throat> Okay, let's keep it pushing. Let's see who's going to call next. Right, here we go. Call her your name or where are you calling from? This is uh, another shameless plug. Miguelito's tattoos on Instagram. What's up, Miguelito? Como estas, bro? Everything good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm always good when I come on Rory and Riga, man. All yeah. Good. All good. What's, what's good, my bro? You got a question? Hey, what's up? What's up, Mark? What's up, homie? Yeah, I got a question for Mark with this, man. What's cracking? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, homie? All right, all right. All right. <laughs> all right look check it out so look this is i have always had like three like questions that i hate fucking clients ask me man so i always wanted to tell you mm -hmm. what are the three stupid questions that clients could ask you about getting a tattoo oh my god i could go on forever with this one let me tell you one let me start one out let me start go, one out go ahead my favorite one right? go ahead I'm gonna ask you, all right? Yeah. Hey, 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 marvelous! How much for a tattoo? <laughs> hey, that was my first one, homie. That was gonna be my first one. How much you charge? Like, man, what the fuck? Like, how big how much, are you? How much you charge? Yeah. It was. Uh, and then, hey, hey homie, have you ever tat done a tattoo and you're almost finished? And then they ask you, hey, can you add this? Are you gonna charge more to add this? 
Like, come on, like, what do you think? Hey, but it's really small though. It's yeah, really small though. Yeah, really I, small but though. hey, I want it. I, I want it not too big and not too small. Oh. Like, what is that? And it's they come and it's a you know, like, you know, it's a bigger space. It's medium than what, size though. Yeah, it's medium. for real, bro, for real. Hey, but I don't know if you you know <laughs> over over the years I, I've I've come to find out you know there there's so many different textures of skin, bro. Like, there's people that got alligator skin. There's people that you tattoo that you could you could see the dope coming out of their their skin. You know, like I've had to send some people home, bro. Like I, I couldn't finish their tattoo. Um, there's people that just have really bad hygiene. That's always like a killer, bro. Like they're really bad. I had this one girl. I, I got into it with her on the internet. I'm not even gonna say her name and give her that energy, but she every time she came and I would tell her, I tell her straight out. She goes, "Oh no, I don't use deodorant because they're probably gonna put her name on there in the comments right now. Yeah. I don't use deodorant because it causes breast cancer. Like <laughs> your fucking breasts are fake anyways. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like I mean, fucking use for breeze or yeah, something. Yeah, like bad Tony, like bad body odor, like." Come on. Yeah. And there's so many dudes on her, like so many vatos that don't even know. Like, no, let's be honest. You, you just imagine how her fucking patas and coochie smell. My God. So. But yeah, anyways, yeah, that's, you know, that's one of them always, you know, that, that other thing. And then, um, I don't know. Um, you know what I don't, what gets to me, bro? If I'm tattooing, I'm really into a tattoo and the person's really trying to like, just look at it. They're, they're every, every five seconds are looking like chill. Like, I know you want to see it done. Let me do my thing. Cause if you keep moving, you know, you're moving me, you know? But yeah, hey, thank you, homie, yeah. for calling. Appreciate you, homeboy. Hey, I have one more thing before I go. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, hey, I'm inviting you to uh, come over to the session when I'm gonna tattoo Tony A. Oh, he's gonna get tattooed. We don't, we don't want to say too much right now, but it's for you know, for the listeners right now. Get it. You know, we're gonna get it going. Get it with Miguelito's tattoos, and I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna be freestyling when I before I do it too. That's right. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Okay, all good, all good. <laughs> all right, man. All right, late. He's gonna do me vida loca. That's right. Okay, caller, your name or where are you calling from? Uh, Mo from uh, the Bay Area. What's up, Mo from the Bay Area? Como estas, bro? Everything good? Good, good. How about you? Good, How you bro. Doing mar marvelous. I'm good, homie. How you doing? Good, good. Hey, I have a. Um, did you guys hear the the most recent thing uh, Mr. Criminal said about uh, with that with some guy uh, L.A. Con or whatever his name his name is? No, no. you know what? Can um, you speak, bro? You, you're, the gist you're, of it is like you know, your phone sounds a little well, muffled, why bro. Is, why is Mr. Criminal always crying uh, about his his fucking flowers and shit that no one gives him flowers? <laughs> he gets out of game, all this shit. But like, I'm not even trying to be fucked up, but like, he claims all this music and shit, but like. Man, like, man, I can't even tell you one good song of Mr. Criminal. Bro. <laughs> that, that's just my opinion. Maybe because I, I don't relate to it and shit. Yeah. Maybe because, like, you know, I'm from up here and my style is more no northern, northern, uh, you know, northern Mexicano shit, you know, or northern, northern rap. And man, yeah. I can tell you just one artist by the name of Woody that can, you know, unfortunately he took his, he took his own life, and I bet you any album. Holds up better from the twenty thousand albums that Mr. Criminal has. I bet you Woody's album, four of those albums will destroy Criminal's album. Yeah, and, you, but, but why is this Vato always talking about his fucking flowers? You, you can't get flowers if your music don't go like that. But this was always crying like all oh, King Little G or da da da. But like his name doesn't get mentioned, and he gets all his. You know, none none of those cats, man. Even the ones that are that are right there, you know, uh, all gossiping on the shit about that slap shit or whatever the fuck. One uh, another vato wants to call himself a king, like you know, those are those are those are big words that those those that shit has to be given to you. You know, you that has to be given to you. You know, I don't know another man calling. I, I, I'm sorry, Tony. I ain't gonna call you a king, bro. <laughs> I mean, you're a man of me, homie. But you know, I, I I wouldn't do that. So a lot of vatos, you know, they. I remember in the early 2000s, everybody wanted two names. Now they call me, oh, this, um, uh, you know, whatever, loco, this and that, like two, they wanted two names, like, damn, homie, like, fuck, didn't you have, just get one placaso when you were, got jumped into your barrio, like, you know, but, like, I, I can't name one song either, bro, I don't know, I, I never, I guess I just wasn't, I mean, I was into, you know, my gangbanging shit, but to me, I, I'm not gonna throw that shit on. Like when, if I'm gonna go bust a mission or something, one one person I do recognize, man, and I, I think he, 
he should have blown up. I mean, for his circumstances that he he got, he got himself into or whatever, you know, those allegations or whatever, um, what he was on the run for, that should have been way bigger than, or I mean, he's pretty big now, you know, but Conejo, Conejo, he, mm-hmm. he brings the real shit. Like I, I, that's one of my favorite, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I, I just call him an artist. I don't even call him a Chicano artist. He's just an artist to me. Like he, mm-hmm. he put together some good ass shit and the, and what he talks about is real. And, and people that are from the streets that, that, mm-hmm. that have done dirt, they know it's real, you know? Um, so mm-hmm. I think he should get flowers. Another one, um, that's a, a, a good ass musician that, that should, I think should be fucking blown up dominator. Dominator, I love the way, and I know you, you, you guys put me, make music together. Like, yeah, we'll be, man, we'll be working together again. Soon. Fuck yeah, that's that's one uh, a a real a real musician, man. Like, fuck yeah, all good. Hey, you know what so, color? What you think, Tony? Since like you're pretty in, in the in the music industry, just like <laughs> I'm just curious to see. Since you're from down there, yeah. But this was like, you know, I just ain't feeling this fool. Like, you can't get flowers and like. I'm not trying to be fucked up, bro, but, like, your music don't really slap, and, like, this guy on the Haters World mentioned it, he's like, bro, like, your music from, like, 2003 to, like, 2017, you were still trying to fucking, like, promote gangbanging to, like, high school kids, like, oh, like, shit, like, you, you, like, to me, I don't know, like, Chicano rap is a bunch of shit that doesn't, not shit, but it's a bunch of, like, some lyricists don't know how to put things together or tell a story where it just, it becomes, like, kind of trash talking over a beat. Mm. And like the the guy Hater World mentioned, like so Mr. Kanye didn't really have, and, and like he he didn't start really popping, or his music didn't start really popping again in, until like 2017 when he switched up the style and started getting into like, I guess you can say more hip hop. But like honestly, I, I I can't name a fucking song of this fool, but he he cries about his flowers and shit. Well, I mean, if you don't mind me asking you, where did you hear him cry about not getting him getting not getting his flowers? On that, uh, some with uh, he's talking about it with uh, L.A. Icon or something like that. Oh, okay, okay. On his uh, new podcast that he does, uh, uh, Criminal on Air and shit, he's like always crying about like, oh, like I like I, I've released a thousand things, but like no one shows the love and shit. Like we, I don't get my flowers, but then like you know. He, he doesn't really say it because obviously he doesn't want to look like a hater, but like, he'd be like, oh, you know, King OG gets his, uh, Bob Blood gets his, but like, you know, what about mine kind of shit? Kind of reminds me of like Richie Valens, what about me? Like, <laughs> just like, on some, on some fucking La Bamba shit, dog, like, fuck. Like, like, I get it, dog. Like, right. You know, like, you oh. know it, it, to me, it's just not there. Okay, well, since you're asking me, let me try to answer it, and this is just not about him and marvelous you've been here now for, for a while now as far as you've known me now maybe at least a good year now mm-hmm. okay and i've always said this and all my followers subscribers they know this mm-hmm. i got out of the music at 2002 mm-hmm. okay and i always say if you came out between 2002 to 2017 most likely i didn't hear of you mm-hmm. a lot of rappers get offended i didn't hear of this individual until i started like around the time podcasting Mm -hmm. so people started telling me you should get this guy you should get this guy Mm -hmm. we actually text a couple of times and i still have those text messages uh he never gave me a clear answer so i never bothered him again Mm -hmm. uh and i wish him luck on his podcast and whatever he does now i respectfully say this and this is just not about him but just about uh chicano rappers period Mm -hmm. i'm going to echo what julio g said Mm -hmm. That we can claim I'm from the barrio, I'm from the hood, I'm Chicano, all of that. He goes, but when it comes down to it, where are the hits? Mm-hmm. Where are the hits? This is exactly. what we're this is what we're in it for. Yeah. Where are the hits? Okay. And I'm gonna say it again. You could play me anything cool that sounds dope loud. Th- th- those might be slappers, but they're not hits, bro. Mm-hmm. And that goes for everyone, not picking on one individual. Mm-hmm. But where are your hits? That's all I'm asking. So I, I think people that get flowers is because they have hits. Mm-hmm. You know, l- let's just take Kid Frost, whether people like him or not. Mm-hmm. La Raza came out 1990. Mm-hmm. 32 years, 33 years later, he's still eating. Yeah. That's a hit. Yeah. Light or shade of brown, Sunday afternoon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't hate on people, mentirosa. Mm-hmm. It's a hit. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a gold record. High C sitting in the park. I'm not your puppet. Mm-hmm. Those are hits. 
that's why you get flowers, you know? So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. To me, that's what it's all about. Am I wrong or? No, you're right. You're right. I don't know, caller. What do you think? No, it's good. That's pretty good, man. Like, uh, you just pretty much said it right there. Where are the hits, man? You know, I just don't, like, a bunch of, like, uh, it's almost like what Capone did. He wants to flood the market with a bunch of shit, but, like, none, none of it's sticking. Or it does, like, I don't know. To me, it's just, like, to me, I just, I don't know. Mm. You know? But, yeah. Anyways, you guys have a good night, man. Thank you. Hey, you too, homie. Okay. You know, and, and ultimately what it comes down to is, the, you know, the hits, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and let me give a shout out to Baby Bash. Somebody mentioned him. On, he's got hits. Mm -hmm. He's still traveling. He's eating off of that, bro. Yeah. So call her your name or where are you calling from? He's all on from Navajo Nation. From where? Um, Navajo Nation. Navajo Nation. Oh, okay. Arizona. What's good, my brother? Como estas? Everything good? I'm trying to, I'm trying to hit that phone. I hit up um marvelous asking about how his phone died. No way. Yeah, his phone died. Look, oh. at, I'm already getting another call. See? Oh shit. So okay. Hey, sorry, bro. Yeah. Hey, uh, my number's on my on my IG, bro. If you want to hit me up later on, call her your name or where you calling from? Uh, South Central Los Angeles. What's up, my brother from South Central? Uh. What's going on, Tony? What's going on, uh, Marvelous? Como esta? What's up, homie? How you doing? Hey, hey, I'm glad to call you guys. Uh, I want to uh, give a shout out to you, homie, and um, and I support you, big dog. And thank you for uh, educating us, homie. Man, hey, gracias. I I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much. Hey, and uh, I was gonna say that uh, relating to uh, what you've been talking about to the raza about uh. The Agenda 21 and the United Nations and the New World Order, it, it, uh, it's, it's real, homie. It's true. Yeah. That, that's what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, facts, homie. I, was gonna, I have a quick question, Big Dog. Uh, uh, have, you, have you ever done your research on mind control technology? Yeah. Uh, all right. Well... I, the only reason I brought this up, dog, is because uh, I know you guys lately have been talking about the mass shootings, right? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to tell you, uh, based on my research and all that, and I have a, I have a, tengo tiempo, you know, doing this. I've, I've, I've done my research and all that for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if you ever heard of a, a, a weapon called Voice to School. Voice to, to Voice B2K. Mm -hmm. uh, B2K technology. It, it's it's used like by the uh, it's used by the by the by the U.S. Army, the, mm -hmm. the U.S. military, the CIA, and NSA. Right. They uh, or this weapon. Uh, uh, they use this weapon on in the uh, in the Gulf War. Yeah. Back in back in the nineties. Yeah. And they also used that in the Iraq War. So I was gonna say for that, like a lot of these mass shootings, told me they're. They're actually remotely controlled by the by, by the intelligence agencies. Yeah, I believe because, you. I believe well, that. Yeah, these my thing. My thing is put it like this, homie. Like uh, 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 a lot of these five G uh, satellites, they're they're weaponized with the with the uh, dual weapons, directed energy weapons. Mm -hmm. And they could have, they could attack your brain. Yeah. It, uh, it's called mind control technology. They could attack you with a EMF. Yeah, it's called direct electromagnetic frequency. Yeah, it's called direct could, weapon uh, frequency. Yeah, and they could induce artificial computer. Uh, I mean, my, my bad. I meant to say computer auto it's called, generated. It's, ca it's called. It's called. It's called. It's called astral projection, bro. They admit a frequency. Um, to your pineal gland, your 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 mind, and you could astral astral project yeah. or go into a form of hypnosis. Yeah, there's there's other people that they'll call it a synthetic telepathy. Yeah. Or synthetic telepathy technology. Yeah. And it, yeah, those are the times that we're living in, dog. And I was gonna say that that that's the only reason why they they've been doing all these uh like remotely controlled and engineering these mass shootings because hey you know who went through that, that way they my bad i didn't mean to huh? cut you off. i didn't mean to cut you off homie but you know who went through that before um old boy got got killed um the dude that um 
that allegedly uh, killed, um, well, I mean, got found guilty already, but um, Nipsey Hussle, he went through the shock therapy uh, two weeks before, and his first statement that he did make was he said that the LAPD paid him $75,000 to do that. Also, Nipsey was on his, on. I don't know what degree he was on, but he was a mason. So oh, yeah, he, he was going, what, yeah. he was got, going through all his ritual. Gotta look, you yeah. got to pay attention to their, their tattoos. Yeah. You see how uh, Nipsey also had a tattoo of the marathon? Mm-hmm. And you see how, how you see how uh, on that the marathon the symbol, checker, it contained the, the Masonic symbol? Yeah, the checkerboard, all that. Even his even his ceremony, That's bro. Checkerboard. His ceremony at Staples Center that people paid for were all chanting that ritual to Horus. That was a ritual. Oh, that, yeah. That's a comedic, a comedic yeah, ritual. And, and they check this out. They do it by numbers. Yeah. Uh, this, Sacred geometry. Uh, they do it by numbers. Like, for example, Nipsey died on uh, March 31st, mm. which is, you know how March is number three, right? Mm. This is, you know how March is the third, uh, the third, uh, the third month of the year, right? Mm-hmm. 31st, 3-3. Three, 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 mm-hmm. And you know how, how the last degree of Freemasonry is the 33rd degree. That's, yeah. the, that's the last degree. Mm-hmm. And things like that. And like I was saying, dog, back to uh to the uh, V2K, dog, uh, they could point uh, voices through uh through your head, bro. Yeah. But they do it through satellites. Yeah. And 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 I would rec- I would like recommend you, homie, if you do your research on on targeted individuals you have you ever heard of that uh like conspiracy like doing that research yeah i've done yeah i've done a lot like, of that bro um they usually reach out to people like, go for it bro what are you gonna say my bad like people that are targeted by the government like they'll they'll put you under the a watch list food yeah and I, I, I a lot of people like you know they like if you talk about this kind of stuff they'll say that you're crazy or you're uh they'll falsely label you as schizophrenia yeah but it, but in reality th- this is the these are the the hidden programs That's that the good. government has mm-hmm. and they could like put you under a watch list and they could label you as a domestic terrorist and they and took- from there on they, uh, <laughs> they'll uh justify as, as them you as, as them using you as an experiment uh, yeah. experimentation yeah from there on uh they'll they'll torture you they'll torture you 24 7 they'll monitor you 24 7 till uh, they'll set you up they'll even pay uh certain citizens they they'll even pay or your neighbors to mm-hmm. harass you mm-hmm. and try to destroy your livelihood yeah and yeah like i said on me they attack you with directed energy weapons from these satellites bro yeah. And this this technology, it, this, this, the technology exists, mm-hmm. and the technology, the the the, the U.S. Air Force, the, the the National Security Agency, the CIA, DARPA, DARPA, uh, and the DIA, NATO, m- most of the most of these uh powerful countries, they they have these these weapons. Yeah, and, and they're using them to to uh, attack and target uh, certain individuals in society that are deemed as a threat to 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 the system, to the new world order, bro. Yeah, and I, I know they, I know they've been, I uh, I know they've been having this technology since the nineteen seventies. Yeah, I know since that. Yeah, and things like that. I like. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 I appreciate you calling, homie. Um, we're gonna get other callers, but hey, can you hit me up on my Instagram? I wanna, I wanna shoot you some videos if you can, homie. Hey, I was gonna tell you, homie. Uh, my last year, dog, my 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 is my Instagram, my IG account got compromised, fool. Oh, hey, well, look at um, get somebody that has an IG and get my get my number down for on my on my my bio, homie, and um, yeah. shoot me a text. All good. Gracias, though. I appreciate hey, you, I dog. Gonna, I was going to tell you, homie. Yeah. You have a, uh, before I hang up, dog. Yeah. Uh, you have a, you have a Gmail I could reach, reach out to you or, 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 or Facebook or anything like that? Yeah, Facebook, Daniel Ayala. I, I'm going I'm to tell you like this, homie. Uh, I, like, I don't like to brag about anything like that, but I, I share, uh, I have a lot of information. So I have documents and all that stuff, bro. I'm talking about. Now, all kinds of, like, subjects on me, like, 
Like, uh, I, I already know about the 5G. I already, I already know about the, uh, All good, brother. the but, elite. But listen. And, you know, I know about GMO foods, genetically modified foods, and all that stuff. Chemtrails in the sky. Cool. Cool. Yeah, Thank I you, know, bro. I, I know about all Please that get stuff, at him at Daniel Ayala that, uh, on Facebook. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate yeah, you. Appreciate you, homie. Okay. I'm sorry, but we just got to move on. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Hey, dog. I just called my fucking phone died. Fucking Navajo Nation, dog. Oh, that's all good. Oh, Go ahead. It's the caller again. <laughs> yeah, Navajo Nation. Hey, I checked my phone in real quick. <laughs> but, hey, I got a question for Moses. What's up, bro? Um, how close are the the um, Native Americans close to you guys, like um, story wise, and what he preaches? Uh, almost in every way, bro. Is the same as your as your um, as close to the the Hopi Indian and the uh, Apache and the the Sioux. Um, we're all. Uh, I'm Navajo. No, I know, I know, uh, but I'm saying it as as our traditions and our and our rituals and our prophecies. They're they're all similar. <laughs> You know, you still follow the moon phases? Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's why I want to learn more about that, dog. He said, más o menos. I want to learn more about that, dog. That's right. Are, are you, hey, that's do my you, question. Do yeah. you live on the res? Or no? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah? All right. That's dope. I'm on the biggest reservation in Navajo Nation. That's right. That's beautiful, man. Um. Yeah, I mean, we're, 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 I, I call us, I mean, I, I like to say, you know, we're, we're cousins, bro. So we're, we're related. Oh yeah, dog. That's, that's what I need to hear. Much yeah. love to both of you guys, man. Hey, my respects to you, bro. Thank you, my brother. Okay, let's yep. go. Okay, let's keep it going. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and you know, oh, fuck, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Call your name or where are you calling from? My name is Robert from Los Angeles. What's, what's up, Robert? Yeah, so let's see how I, there's a lot of things I like to talk to you guys about, but um, the thing in my mind right now is about Calimax versus Chicano, right? So just something I noticed. So you guys know Mecha, that, that University of Chicano group, right? A few years ago, they, they decided to drop the name Chicano. Because for the past few decades, um, the leadership has become more and more um, led by like the, the LGBT and and women, which it's cool. I'm not talking smack about them. The thing is that their agenda is first, like the LGBT agenda. Because I was part of Match like maybe 15 years ago, so I saw this happening. So they dropped it in a big part is because um, because uh. To them, Chicano has a history of being homophobic, supposedly, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the big reason why they're dropping the term Chicano. Yeah. But just to get to that, there's my point. Um, este, este Gil, like as soon as people started questioning him for being Chicano, he was like, in other words, saying, fuck it. If I'm not going to use the term, then I'll destroy that word. And then he started using Calimax. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if he understands. I think he does that. People were already starting to question and change Chicano, and he's jumping on the bandwagon. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, that's what I'm observing, and I just want to give props to Marvelous for for standing up for Chicano, you know, because I think it's important. Otherwise, it's, you know, it's going to be watered down. So. Yeah. <clears throat> I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. Me. Have a good night, homie. Okay. I didn't know they dropped the, the Chicano thing. I don't know why they would do that because <clears throat> they said that we have a history. You could say that about fucking anybody. Yeah, anybody. You know, you could say that the LGBTQ has a fucking history of hating straight people. Mm-hmm. Fuck, mm -hmm. like, okay. yeah. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Yeah, what's up, Tony A? This is Showbiz Cash calling from Calabasas. How you doing, brother? What's up, my brother from Calabasas? Hey, can you please turn down your TV, yeah, por yeah. favor? What's up, Marvelous? How you doing, brother? What's up, homie? Hey, you got a loud, you got a loud echo, bro. Your TV. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Awesome, brother. My bad. I was trying to lower it, but I was having some technical difficulties. My bad, bro. Um. So yeah, check this out. I, I really appreciate all your knowledge, everything you're spending and sharing with, you know, with, with the guests. And I just had a couple of things uh, that I wanted to ask you. Well, actually just one. Um, I know you're involved in spirituality, you know, pretty heavily. Mm -hmm. And are you aware of uh, prayer by the way of heart and brain coherent? Heart and brain coher coherent? Can, can you just explain a little bit, bro? My bad. All right. So the way that uh, we're typically taught to pray is by begging. You know, and uh, 
this prayer is more spiritual when it comes to reading the Bible. You know, and I've always said it's one thing to know how to read the Bible. It's another thing to understand what you're reading in the Bible. Exactly. Wait, my, my you bad, know, so bro. There's, there's I'm, a big I'm, difference. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, homie. But your first words, what did you say? Your first words right now about prayer? I said it's one thing to know how to read the Bible. No, before that. It's another thing to understand what you have just read in the Bible. No, before that about how to pray. That we beg? Did you say beg? Oh, yeah. Basically, the way that we've, we've been taught throughout our tradition. You know, we're, you know, a lot of us sing Latinos, Chicanos, whatever, you know, whatever Rasa you're from. Um, we typically grow, you know, Latinos, we typically first grow up um, Catholic without even knowing what it's about. Okay. You know, we just we just put into this institution that, you know, supposed to supposedly sit there to teach us uh, spirituality, to just uh, get on the right track and all that good stuff. Right. But um, we're used to begging when we pray. Yeah. When it comes to, to the way that the Bible truly teaches us how to pray is through heart and mind coherence, which is when our heart and mind are agreed upon something. Um, do you have a, do you, have, that's how, do you have a, uh, is there a script? Do you have a, have you heard that in a scripture somewhere? Um, I actually, you know, I listen to people like, uh, Wayne Dyer, Greg Braden, uh, Neville Goddard, okay. Louise Hayes, Earl Nightingale, people like that. Yeah. Oh, the only reason I'm asking, and, bro, uh, yeah. it, the only reason I'm asking, bro, and I don't mean to, to cut you off like that. I'm sorry. But um, it's because scriptures uh, specifically, I, I, man, I can't remember the name of the scripture, but it says, um, go not by thy heart, because our heart is deceitful above all things. But um, I, I understand what you're saying. And I had a conversation with that with my kids not too long ago about how we, people pray or we're right here. Um, we um, we bargain with, with the Most High. We say, give me this or get me out of this situation and I'll do this for you. I'll go to church. I'll start going to church. If you take me out of this situation and our prayers are in a way begging, but they're very, um, they're very selfish. They're all, they're all self wants and that people, uh, a, 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 cor a correct way to pray is to ask the most pi uh, the most high, give me what you feel I need put in front of me what you desire, not m what I want, because I don't know what I want. I, I don't know what's ahead for me in store for me, you know, so you, you, you take away my desire and you give me. If, it, if it's something that I need to be disciplined on, a trial or a tribulation, hey, it's going to be a blessing because I'm going to learn from it, right? But um, get, exactly. um, I'm praying for what you want best for me. You know, in other words, you get what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. I, I, that, that I, I, I totally agree on that. Excuse me for interrupting as well. Um, the thing is, is, what I'm talking about is there's a certain way through love through pure love, mm -hmm. you know, to have your prayers granted to you, you know, and that's what heart and mind coherence has to do with. And when you're emptying yourself of any type of fault, when you forgive yourself, you forgive others, and you ask uh, for discernment, uh -huh. and you ask for, you know, your ble your blessings right. at the same time. But right. it, take, it takes action on our part, of course. Right. But a lot of it has to do with clearing, clearing out any negativity that we have right. in order to ask God for something to, to give to us. We have to be clean, right? That and that—that's another thing, bro. That I—that I—that I talk about too. When we talk about people want to bust out scripture and stuff like that, to talk about love and God is love and love is this, love that, love that. We have a very simple mind of what the the true definition of love is. Love is not hugs and kisses. Love isn't oh, come over here and I'm gonna be compassionate towards your feelings. Love is strictly and always will be obedience of the law. Point blank. Period. No matter how we feel about it. So when we say God says, "Show me you love me." Obey my law. Point, point blank. You're telling your kids, show me that you love me. Obey what I'm trying to convey to you. Obey me. I don't want to hug. I don't want to kiss. I want you to show me that you're worthy of taking this title. I want you to show me the most high. I want you to show me that you're worthy to enter these gates, this place that I have prepared for you. Are you worthy? Do you love me? Because it's not a hug and a kiss because that's not, he, it comes, he comes in a form of energy. It's not a, 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 exactly. a we, we have this depiction of God, uh, this big old, you know, man, he, it's, it's an energy, it's ener all energy and you were not, you can't hug energy, but you could, you could, you could make it b b uh, bigger and better by manifesting your reality into that energy like the elite are doing now, um, manifesting their shit into the, you know, the pedophilia God, their whole Saturn worship, their whole Venus worship, all that shit. Entering kids, children, you know, manifesting their reality, having us sing along to their music and shit like that. And we need to stop that. We need to close that door, 
and close that portal, you know, and truly obey exactly. and show that we love him. Exactly. Because we're, you know, it's, it's a deep subject, man. You know, I got a lot of stories about astral projecting. Yeah. You know, I can pr pretty much do it at will. Mm. You know, I can astral project at will. Mm -hmm. You know, I put on some binaural beats at night and, you know, get into the zone. Um, a lot, you know, I was raised to think that it's evil, but I'm not, I'm not trying to contact anything evil. You know, what I do is I pray to the most high and I ask just to, you know, just to fill my heart with love, to, to help lead me in the right direction, just to, you know, be the light under my footsteps and all that good stuff. And, um, like I said, I'm heavily into all that stuff. I believe in all that stuff. Um, so I believe in protecting my mind, but, you know, I think that's, that's what we have. They, they can take anything from us, but they can't take our thoughts. Yeah. We can't take our creation out of our mind. Yeah. I you appreciate know, you, homie. You too, brother. God Thank bless you, you, homie. You too, homie. Let's keep it pushing. <clears throat> Dope. We got a couple of more phone calls. All right, let's see. We missed like so many. That's why I try to, people get mad. Tony, let them talk. Okay, <laughs> cool. But people are calling in, bro. <laughs> you got to be mindful. Call it your name or where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, Tony? What's up, my brother? Where are you calling from, bro? Hey, uh, calling from Santana. Uh, this is Pascual from Santana. Pascual from Santana. ¿Cómo estás, bro? Bien, bien. How you guys doing? Good, good. Good, good, good. Hey, Marvelous, I would like to know if you could put a star for uh, Tony A on the wall for doing a good job tonight. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to put a pink one for him. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's right. Get it. Put the unicorn like, in the middle. Drinking some <laughs> yeah. I appreciate you, homie. Um, so I was talking to my canal earlier, and um, he was telling me some stuff about uh, Florida. About uh, well, let me pass you the phone because he he knows how to say it better than me. Mm. What's up, Marvelous? What's up, bro? It's uh, in Florida. They pass a law where uh, anybody that's a uh, child sexual. You know, any in, individual that's a you know child sexual, they get a death penalty now. Oh, you mean like a sexual predator? Yeah, child I'm molester, etc. Yeah. No, you know what? I was reading that. Yeah. I was reading about that today, but I wasn't quite sure. I was looking for a little bit more sources, but I guess you're saying it's true now. Yeah. Okay, sexual predator, child molester, etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In other words, the fucking chomo. Yeah. The motherfucker gets a death yeah, penalty. Yeah, pretty now. much. I was telling I was telling my canal earlier in the garage because we we're always drinking in the garage when we call you guys. Hell yeah! And um, I was telling them about the song "Little Rob," I who have nothing. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people don't know about that song, but I guess he had a cousin that touched his nephew, and he molested him, and he put it on the song. And a lot of people don't know about that song. Damn! I wanted to know if you guys knew. I I didn't even know about that. Yeah, yeah I mean, and that song came out years and I like I mean we're talking about a couple of years ago from uh, twelve eighteen and um he put that song and I always I always bump it dude it's my favorite song because it comes from the heart you know when you listen to musica that comes from the heart it's it, it, you know it's always my favorite you know yeah even though the song is like gacho pero yeah. like hey man he 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 spilled his guts out and he said what he had to say and I just wanted to say it right here in the in the station because. I don't, I feel like no one knows about that song. You know what I mean? No, I, I didn't even know about it. I probably heard it, but I don't know about it. I didn't know that story, bro. Thank you for sharing that story though, homie. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes. Uh, was yeah. That, was... And um, that's all I just heard to the mundo, you know, that, 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 that happened and this and that. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, little Rob has always been uh, a good writer and, and a good storyteller. And, um, I, I'm always curious because, you know, his brother died and his brother always wanted to make music. Huh? And I was always been curious because I, I know he don't want to be in the in, in the show for whatever reason. But I, I was always been curious, like, hey, like, have, have some of the music huh, from your music and your CDs and your albums has been from your from your brother or it always has been from you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot. Of Questions from Little Rob, but you know, I know he, he's he's a shy one. I know he doesn't like being on the shows, but you know, hopefully one day he can. You know. Hey, the song is called "I Who Have Nothing." Yeah, "I Who Have Nothing," and the original song is from Ben E. 
King, the original that made that song, which is an oldie song. All right. All right. Hey, thank you, homie, for people sharing that. About they know. No, yeah. A lot of people talk about they know their oldies, eh? And, and no disrespect to la gente out there, but, man, if you're if you're about oldies, man, I'm telling you, man, Little Rob and Miss Crazy, they come out with a lot of old school beats and a lot of oldie beats that no one knows about. And oldies, period. The real oldies. Mm-hmm. Like the people say, oldies buy goodies. Come on, carnal. You guys are talking about oldies and funk and this and that. Man, when you guys hear from Little Rob and Miss Crazy and all these other Chicano rappers that really put it down, you guys don't even know the real oldies. Spence, <laughs> homie, I, I, I got to I gotta interrupt. They don't know more than me, homeboy. I gotta put. I got my oldies. I got a collection of oldies, homie. Hey, check out my playlist on my on my channel, homie. Marvelous Minds. I got a. I got my playlist of oldies. I got a couple of them, but you know, I got a gang of oldies, homie. Like, no, they probably know a gang, but man, I I have oldies, bro. Oh, oh, do from do wops to Lost Soul to Chicano oldies to Christian oldies. I got a gang of shit I can show you. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, we're we're right there, Marvelous. We're right there, Marvelous. We're right there behind you, doggy. All right. Hey, I send my, I send my respects to you and your carnal, homie. You guys have a good night. Hey, for hearing me out, eh? Yeah. All right, homeboy. Have a good night. All right. All right, let's keep it pushing. Uh, so radio, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Make sure the number's still up because the calls have been getting, being kind of slow. I guess they're not feeling too ballsy today. So, um, if not, we're just going to go ahead and just take this call. Caller, your name, and where are you calling from? Hey, hey guys. I'm calling from uh, Riverside. What's up, my bro from Riverside? Hey, guys. How you guys doing? Good, good, bro. Got a question? So, what you guys want to talk about? What do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> what the heck? So, you, you called me. To ask me, what do you guys want to talk about? What you want to talk about Tony? Uh, let's talk about. Um, well, I don't know. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about something that you guys would be like, man. Let's talk about, talk about the gas about prices. About? What do you guys? <laughs> you guys want to talk about the gas prices? Hell no. So my opinion is. Well, nobody just passed <laughs> gas. That's why I thought I said that. So. So. <laughs> oh damn. Okay, uh, I don't know. Hey, Go ahead, bro. Uh, up? I um. I mean, well, Marvelous is there, so maybe okay. Talk Saturday, about something about Marvelous. No, no, S- Saturday. Who uh, you who you got on the fight? Oh, dude, uh, Ryan Garcia. Here. Okay, now, now uh, is that a for sure for sure win? Ah uh, man, no, I, I mean, hey, didn't he make know, a man. bet? Did he make a bet? Is that was that real? Supposedly they made a bet to bet everything, like their whole purse. Nobody, yeah. nobody's gonna do that. Yeah, nobody's gonna fucking do that, bro. I know you that know. other dude carries a purse. I mean, yeah, no, no, his dad. I think his dad, his dad told him no. His dad told Ryan he can't do that. The dad told Ryan no, he can't do that. Man, they should bring felony fights back. I don't like all this scripted, yeah, all this scripted. It, it, all, it is all scripted because those guys are cool, bro. Yeah. They, they, bro, it's funny because I think they fought like four times in amateurs and they both won twice. Yeah. So, and Ryan Garcia, look, bro, I hope he wins. Cool. Well, no, let, let me just say it this way. May the best man win because I don't even know these. I think I might have only seen one fight of each. Yeah. Okay. But I know hey, Ryan. But you know what? Hey, Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia, he's lost weight, so he lost a lot of strength. He's not used to being light, so light. You know what I mean, right? If I'm not mistaken. Well, I don't think, like, I don't think losing like weight, weight you lose strength. You know, you still got strategy, you know? Yeah, you do. You lose a muscle. You, well, yeah, but. I can lose some strength, you know what I mean? I mean, but one thing but, I, I do want to say that the dude Tank Davis, he's a lefty. And the guy that knocked down uh, uh, Ryan Garcia is a, is a lefty. So he's had problems with lefties. Mm-hmm. That would be the only thing well, that, I, that would be hey, my concern. Yeah, I mean, Tank Davis is going to be fighting in the weight that he's comfortable in, right? He has, doesn't have to move up or move down, right? It's the, Ryan is the one that had to move down, right? Yeah, but they still agreed. So that's it. That's what I'm saying, but Tank is fighting at a fight like he's normal, he's good, but to me, Ryan Garcia, he just looks weak. He looks like he, his body is taking a toll, like losing that weight, you know what I mean? He's probably feeling dizzy sometimes, you know, because he's not eating, like, a lot of carbs or whatever. Right. Probably. To make weight, you know what I mean? So, I appreciate- yeah, I think that's a factor for sure. It's a factor. It's a big factor in the fight, so. Dope, dope. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we talked about. 
Have a blessed night. Have a good one, homie. Thank All you right. for calling, dog. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's see. We're going to take two more phone calls, and it's a wrap. Okay, so if you guys want to call in, call in right now. Call in your name, and where are you calling from? This uh Junior from Texas. No, you mean Jay from what's Texas. Up, Tony, what's up, Marvelous? What's up, bro? Nah, it's Junior. Okay. What's up, man? Hey, um, I just had a quick uh, comment question in regards to uh, music. Uh, in regards to um, Dr. Dre's The Chronic. Um... Obviously, the album's a classic, right? Uh, I think we'd all agree with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I got older, well, I started expanding my uh, musical horizons, right? And then I came across the Funkadelics, music of the Funkadelics. And um, I started realizing that that whole album, The Chronic, is basically fighting off uh, the Funkadelics, like hooks, melodies, everything. So I wanted to ask you, how much credit do you think uh, Dr. Dre deserves for the for the album The Chronic? Uh, if you're con if you know, like you're familiar with uh, those songs from the Funkadelic, that's a good question because a lot I know of, how to answer it, but you go first. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I, I'm not in the music industry, but I, I am. I I I feel I have a good ear for melody, and um, you know, a lot of these cadences and stuff that they do, it, it kind of. I kind of feel like they do kind of steal some shit, like a lot of the good songs that they got. Uh -huh. um, even some of the new rappers, you know, like they're just rapping over, you know, beats that have already been. We And we like the right. beat. You know, we like the beat. Is it a good story that they're talking about? Or what do you, I don't know, what do you think, bro? You have a better Okay, uh, first and foremost, I know because I've seen Dre put together songs. When he produced a Straight Outta Compton album, uh, when he produced the Easy E album, the Above the Law, the JJ Fad, uh, the DLC what hip hop is is sampling, bro. Mm. You know, we weren't, we, we didn't have keyboards, you know, mm. uh, it came from, if you will, a poor culture mm. where we just boom, ba -cap, boom, boom, ba -ba -cap. yeah, play that shit, get two of them. Let's go back and forth. That was a rock record mm. by uh, a Billy Squire named Big Pete. Mm. So now we have, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just scratching. So now instead of just DJing it, we sample it. We put it on records. Everybody raps off of samples. Mm. So now you got chronic, the first one, that song Dre Day, all it is is just funkadelic, knee deep, play slower. Yeah. But it's all played over again. Yeah. Okay. Then you got Let Me Ride. That's funkadelic. You know, uh, uh, but now, if anybody should complain, it should be George Clinton. But George Clinton recorded with him. Mm. If anybody should complain, it should be Roger from Roger and Zap. But Roger did stuff with him. So he was paying these guys to remake a lot of their music. I just think he's a genius for the way he put it together. Yeah. He upgraded their music and the music started selling because he started using it. He dared to be different. To me, that's what it was. He so, was different, going in a different direction from rap was, and his music changed music around the world. So do you think it becomes controversial if a person doesn't give another man credit, like a lot of the oldie beats that are taken or whatever? Like, you know, the tough brought up Mr. Capone and all this dedicated to the oldies and shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. Like... Are we are, as a person that's making music like that, that's constantly you know in the in the mix? Should he say, you know what, I like to give credit to so and so or these people for okay. giving me the idea? Okay, I'm gonna answer that, and I'm gonna tell you why a lot of Chicanos don't pay for samples. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna say raza why they don't. Mm. And this is hard for me to say because I know some people are gonna take it wrong, so I'm gonna choose my words wisely. Mm. When I would produce a song for somebody, they would tell me, hey, can you remake that Bretton Wood beat? Mm. And I would say, because I came from a major label, you're going to have to clear that, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what they'll say? Well, we're only going to press it up, bro, and sell it at the swamp meets and the car shows. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever going to know. That yeah. small-minded thinking. Yeah. And that's what kept them in the box, the car shows and swap meets. Mm -hmm. They never thought about going major. Because mm -hmm. if you go to a major label, an Interscope, a Sony, or yeah. a Disney, yeah. they're going to clear those samples. Yeah. So that's how we pay homage to them, by clearing them and paying them. Mm -hmm. So these guys that are just, you know, sampling shit and just selling them at the car shows, they're not, they don't care, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, they're selling CDs for $5. Look who gave a, bit, a good example, you know, the um, Candyman. Yeah. Wow. Uh, a Candyman had to pay for a sample. Well, I, I just, I just want to say... Uh, yes, yes. No, I just want to say that uh, obviously Dre is a very talented individual, right? Like, I, I would never take that from him. Yes. Um, I just think that that album in particular, it's 
too close. Like the melodies, the hooks, everything is too close. And um, I, I don't know. It just feels like it's it's like it's too much. Like it's it's, it's too much to the original. So I think to claim to be your own. Um, but obviously, I still agree it's a classic. It's just um, like as I listen to other music, and the same goes for like Kanye West. It's like a, like a lot of his music is fighting off too much and i just think uh like with the younger generation like they don't even hear the funkadelic they don't even know who they yeah, are they don't know. and uh, <laughs> I was, and, and, was it, and was they're the actual musicians like mm. they created the music and that that takes like a lot of talent to make a hit from nothing versus right. just taking the, the melody the hook everything and laying uh, rhymes over it and uh i i just think that that that's where maybe the issue lies with that uh, that the younger generation has no idea who the funkadelics are. Right, and, but, uh, but you know what? Let know, me give. Just seems like some, some, other than funkadelic and Roger yeah. and Zap, let me give you who is the most sampled in hip hop. You know who that is? Okay. Uh, no, I wouldn't know. <laughs> what did you say, Norbert? Ward. No, I didn't know Ward. James Brown. <laughs> James Brown is the oh, most okay, sampled yeah, yeah. in hip hop, and it started from coming from the East Coast. So. If anybody should be getting paid or crying, it should be him. So, but yeah, all good, my brother. Thank you for okay, the, okay. thank you for that, man. All appreciate right, well, you. appreciate it for taking my call and uh, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Okay, let's last call right here. Last call for alcohol. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, this is Juan. I'm calling from Rialto, Calipas. What's good, my brother? And good evening, gentlemen. Okay. I just wanted to mention. Uh, you know, a couple of people that I listen to that, you know, they bring up the subject of you don't know anything. You know, everything you know that you know about will confuse you if you don't know about white supremacy. I don't know if you ever heard that term using that expression. But um, this person by the name Nelly Fuller Jr. basically caters, caters to African Americans and their um, devastation of white supremacy and so forth. But I kind of related to the Chicano Chicano people too as well, and I'm not sure if um, if uh, if uh, Marvelous or yourself has ever uh, listened to Max Jordan of it. And he talks about symbols and religion and so forth. He calls it the great uh, the great story or the story ever the best story ever told. You know about when he speaks about the Bible and so forth. But um. You know, I just want to mention those things. And in regards to uh, a lot of people bring our Chicano identity, and I would say that, uh, you know, you really need to, uh, people you really need to get into Chicano studies so they can know that Chicano refers not only as a political, you know, political identity, but it's a, it refers to our power of place here in Aslan or in the so-called, Chicanos call it occupier. Mexico or the native land of the Southwest, you know, but it's also uh, a legal stand with what Mexico left in regards to our human rights, the civil rights here in the Southwest, where the Mexicans remain in the, in the uh, ceded territories back in 1848. And if you really, I know that Dr. David Sanchez brought it up, but you got to read the Treaty of Hidalgo where it says that. Chicanos, Mexicanos surrender conditionally, leaving Chicanos uh, the right to self determination by uh, you know, maintaining their religion, maintaining their land, and so forth. So, you know, the former questions I asked, maybe you can relate to that. But also, in regards to Chicano identity, you know, it's our Mexican roots and our prior roots as. You know, Mexicanos as indigenous and also prior sovereigns, you know, it's a war with the United States. And a lot of people don't like to bring that up because we have that prior sovereignty status, which is a little bit above, it's a little bit um, from the so called quote unquote civilization level. Uh, the other one is First Peoples, which is the native people, you know, which is a little higher up. But anyway, I'll let you. That you and with I'll end with that and you know and want the power to you guys because 
you know, it's, uh, it's very seldom I see it come, all this coming from the community and coming from the Chicago Lake County community. We need tons of resources. You know, besides the Chicano Library or Resource Library, these still Islos. But um, if you ever get a chance, uh, marvelous uh, Dr. Dwight and W. Sanchez, we used to meet over there at Thingy Studies in Mednick. And maybe he still has his meetings there. Mm-hmm. You know, if you ever shoot down there, you know, I'll be more than glad to just drive all the way down there and just meet with you guys and talk. You know. Yeah, bro. Right. Uh, yeah. Evening. Hey, gotcha. hey, if you can, uh, yeah, I, I would love to do that. Uh, get down my number on Instagram. If you have me on Instagram, Marvelous Inc. underscore tattoos. I have my number on there, bro, and you can reach out to me anytime, homie. And yeah, that, that'll be that'll be good. I appreciate you calling, bro, and sharing that with, with, uh, with everybody. Man, I think it's really important that everybody, you know, go grab a book, man, or, and share their thoughts. And we start conversing about all this, about where we come from, and especially, you know, know to know that because we're not going to know where we're supposed to be going. Yeah. Okay, right, my brother. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> okay. I got to make one call because this person really wants to call in. So let me give her that. <clears throat> okay, if you're going to forward my call, then I'm not going to call you. Probably could try to call you. Maybe. Hold on. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, good, good. You're live on Conversation with Marvelous. Did you, uh, hey. what's, what's good? Hey, what's up? This is Lady Lord. How are you? Hi. Hi, to finally get to meet Mr. Marvelous Inc. Hi, thank uh, you. Sorry, I tuned in a little late, but uh, I just want to say what's up. And I wanted to uh, give a shout out to Rodent Warriors and encourage membership i actually just uh became a member i think like two weeks ago and thank you i i just want to encourage everyone who's um tuning in because i know there's a good crowd right now and just instead of buying that blue check uh, invest in brown businesses and platforms like this <coughs> so i just wanted to give a shout out like that oh good lily muchas gracias like honestly i truly truly appreciate that that's a beautiful thing. Thank you. It's nice. It's nice meeting you over the over the air. <laughs> cool, cool. All right, then y'all have a good night. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah you night. too. Bye bye. All right, we can take this off. Marvelous. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and jump to those li- those super chats that you guys have. I know we have a few, right? Okay, go ahead. Uh, do some of them have questions? Okay, let's go. They want to know how old you are, uh, Nor- Norbert. How much does your spirit weigh? Yeah. Hey. I'm eternal. You're a timeless spirit. You've, you've existed since day one. <laughs> you've been eating Taco Bell since. Nobody will ever know my yeah. age. I'm forever. Taco uh, Bell. 94 M A job 199. I'll pay to see Marv hand out some beatdowns. All right. Teamster 77, I will give you a thank you and a welcome to becoming a member today. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Hip hop drop two dollars. Do you think Mr. Capone E is just like Iron Jacket? Oh, we should, we answered that one. Yeah, All we right. answered that one. Uh, S, uh, I want to welcome S for becoming a member today. Also, thank, thank you, you very much. Uh, Carlos Cruz drop nine ninety nine. I found out from my father we come from the Mistake people who were located in Puebla. Do you guys have any knowledge on, on them and where I can go to learn? Thank you. Much love and respect. I, I don't. Maybe you can enlighten us, Marvelous. I don't. I'm going to have my friend's name after. He, he'd have more knowledge on that than me. I got knowledge. Uh, the Mistake uh, <laughs> tribe is uh, located in Oaxaca, actually, not in Puebla. Ah, oh, shit. It's uh, hometown. But I, would, it. I would definitely look into if... Your parents are from Puebla. They're probably from a different tribe because uh, the mistakes are located in Puebla. They're the, actually a very wealthy tribe. The Armadillo, baby. But, uh, and that's all I know about them. Oh, oh, and one of the presidents of Mexico was a mistake. Oh. Uh, S, drop $2. Thank you very much. That's it. Iran, con- <laughs> Iran Contra was the u.s how to guide for cartels draw five dollars 
Dan Crenshaw got exposed. He's a tool for WEF. Marvelous. What's your thoughts on Kay Grig Griggs interview? The wife of Freemason. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. So let's drop five dollars. Hi everyone. Keep your eyes on Jesus. I promise he won't leave you or forsake you. Put your faith in God. Awesome. Pray Thank emojis. you. Thank Famili all you guys. Familia Castro dropped nine ninety nine. Question for Marvelous. Can you elaborate on the Yaki tribe being the lost tribe? Yeah, they're one. Well, I mean, they're associated with, with the indigenous, with uh, our people. They're ruthless. They're one of the more ruthless tribes, too. Hey. The Yaki. I have a friend that's Yaki. She's crazy. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's she, what's up? Yeah, she'll fuck people up, man. All She's right. Down. Tell her I want to talk to her. <laughs> I says Garden of fourth of the fourth kind drop five dollars. Why are more men calling in than women? We need more women to call in. We really we need do. more more women to call in. We need Thank all you. the women to call. Thank you for that. Uh, the do drop two dollars. Iris, I'm sorry. Irish Chacon, Selena Canti, Can, Quintanilla, or J Lo. Go. Wait, say, say, you didn't read that right. I know. No, the Barbie options man. are options. Irish Chacon, which I don't know who that Edith is. Iris Chacon. Huh? Iris Chacon. It says Irish. They, they Irish? put Irish or or uh, Iris. Irish. Okay, it's a misspelling, but Iris Chacon is a nalgona piernuda. Iris Chacon. Right. So. Well, I, okay, Tony knows who that is. So, Selena yeah. Quintanilla or J-Lo, go. I'm going to say Iris Chacon. Uh, marvelous. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Uh, okay. All right. So let's go to Carlos Cruz. Drop four ninety nine. Have you seen the movie Angel Heart, where Robert De Niro plays Lucifer? It, it, it's a great movie. Uh, it, you learned a lot. It, it's he called himself Louis Cipher. Uh huh. Louis <laughs> Cipher. That was uh, uh, Mr. Robert De Niro. Uh, and then I'm trying to remember La Morena that came in in the movie. Uh, uh, the, uh, she was she was with uh, Lenny Kravitz. Uh, um, I'm trying to remember, but she played a good part too. And then it's the Mickey Rourke when he was fucking normal. Now he looks like fucking Michael Myers, but Man, um, he ouch. fucks her like hard in the movie. If I can show him, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, like th that movie back then in the '80s was considered like really explicit. Yeah, she has legs wide open. It's like a aerial view down, and he's fucking the shit out of her. And then all of a sudden, all kinds of fucking blood falls on him. Jeez. But Damn. Robert De Niro, like, he plays a good ass devil. What about that 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 movie? I forgot where the um fuck. Um, it's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. He wants to be a lawyer, and his dad's the, the devil's advocate. The devil's advocate. Another you great, that? another great fucking movie. Yeah. Al Pacino también. Yeah. Fuck, he's a sick motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Uh, he also uh, wanted to say that is probably one of his scariest roles. Like Lucifer was playing himself. Yeah, uh, yeah. That just shows how good of an actor he is. I believe that that energy, all that shit, these people that play that, that energy goes into him. Mm. I, I believe that shit. too. I, I believe that too. Uh, uh, Jack Nicholson called up that dude that killed himself that played the Joker. Yeah, and told him to be careful because that shit can consume you. Yeah, he said that he was he was he felt kind of crazy in that movie that he did. Um, what's his name? Jack Nicholson. That one where he's fucking trying to kill that chick through the with the, the knife. The Shining. Yeah, The Shining. Probably that there was a lot of crazy shit going on on the set. Probably because you you do have to get in tune with that fucking character. Yeah. Just uh, give them some Taco Bell and they'll be all right. Hell uh, no. Isaiah, Isaiah Gardens of the Fourth Kind draw fire of $5. Marvelous versus Elver Galarga. Who's that? I don't know who that is either. But Derek Mallory said Lisa Bonet. Lisa Bonet was the girl. Lisa, you guys look up Lisa Bonet. Lisa, and she, she got boned by Mickey Rourke in that movie. Uh, um, so check it out. Lisa Bonet. So is it Lisa boned by her? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, Rita Castillo. Uh, I want to say thank you for gifting one of the live chatters a membership. L Lisa Castillo, you Rita, know what? Rita. Rita? Rita. Rita, my apologies. Rita Castillo, thank you very, very much. You're a, a straight, faithful follower. Like, we truly, truly appreciate you here. So, once again, R Rita Castillo, much love, much respect for mm. me and my whole team. Hey. Uh, Gilbert Flores dropped $5. Man, I tried calling like 30 times. Maybe next time. Just want to say thank you. I started watching YouTube because of you fellas. Thank you, my brother. Oh, Appreciate you, you man. You should have uh, called 31. Lisa, uh, drop 499 with a mic drop. 
Thank you. Thank you. Danny dropped thir- 313. The South will rise again. That's it. Awesome. Thank you. All right. All right uh, Marvelous. Anything I didn't ask you? Anything you want to bring up? Anything you want to say? Anything? Whatever. that you, Maybe we didn't touch on or nobody asked you when they called in. Um, nothing that I could think of right now. I just want to thank everybody that uh, tuned in tonight. I, I, I truly, it means a lot for everybody to even want to ask me anything. It's a, it's a privilege um, and an honor. And I'm very humbled by all of you guys that, that do participate in these conversations. Um, all my love and respect to you guys. Uh, marvelous thank you very 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 much and i want to thank everybody on the live chat um you guys that's like the new party line so i encourage everyone just like lily flor said become a member i'm dropping something new every week honestly you won't be disappointed we haven't even dropped at least in my opinion the great content right now this is just an appetizer i'm being honest with you guys we got some great content coming up become a member join us uh, because eventually marvelous we are going to go live just for our members yeah you know, we're going to give them like a special show. So much love and respect to all your members. Uh, like I said, you'll spend a, a, a lot more on a cup of coffee than you would in one month, you know, becoming a member. Um, other than that, let me give a shout out to uh, Norbert, News of Norbies. Uh, let me give a shout out to Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise. Let me give a shout out to my son, Viscanless. Let me give a shout out to the Hip Hop Jedi. Let me give a shout out to Magic Girl, our uh, moderator out there. Um, other than that, uh, I'll, I have a special guest coming in. On Friday, on Friday, I have a special guest. It's going to be, a, somebody asked me, when are you going to have another Rodium Radio episode? We're going to have it on Friday because he was he's not going to be able to be here Sunday. So we're switching our Friday show to Sunday and our Sunday show to Friday. So tomorrow morning, if you follow me on Tony A. The Wiz on Instagram, Tony A. The Wiz, so you guys can see the flyer that I'm going to post up. You guys will not be disappointed because this is an artist. Uh, that you guys have been asking for for a long time. So I, I made it happen for you guys. So much love to all you guys. Other than that, um, well, oh yeah, hold on. But I want to thank all the callers, all great questions. Every, everybody who, who donated, much love and respect to all you guys. Um, also, to all you guys that called in about the music questions, I love music questions, you know what? And I like to be challenged. But I respectfully say that that once again, between 2002 to 2017, if you came out, I most likely didn't hear of you because I just turned off music and I just concentrated on work and, you know, raising my, my family. Most people like to say, well, I never heard of you to Rodin Radio. And that's cool. I don't care about that. But next time, before you open up your mouth, do your damn homework, okay? Before you try to come on my page and comment some bullshit and try to insult me, it's not going to work, bro. It's not going to work. It's better if you just DM me and ask me, who are you? And I'll give you the info and we can be cool. It could be cool. So um, let's go. Let's go, my bro. You got something? Yes, we can be Gucci. Nah, I mean. Cisco 2269 dropped $5. I grew up around many cholos, break dancers. If it's the movement of our culture, why are the festival artists making the bank and street is put on hold? Okay, re- repeat that again. So, so that, you know what? Let me I, look at it because I, I, I want to be able to answer that. I got don't read it then. Okay. I grew up around many cholos, break dancers. If this, if this the movement of our culture, why are the festival artists making the bank and the street, fuck, it moved. And the street <laughs> is put on hold. Okay, I don't I don't know what you mean by the street is put on hold. Uh, do, do you know what that means? Marvelous? Yeah, what? I'm sorry, bro. I was tripping out. Right? Okay. It just says like this. Um, I grew up around many cholos yeah. break dancers if this is the movement of our culture why are the festival artists making the bank and the street is put on hold like i don't know okay let me say this about a lot of artists okay yeah. a lot of artists aren't making bank yeah i i, I need to say that mm-hmm. a lot of artists are paying promoters to perform yeah that's what they're doing the promoter gives them tickets to say you want to perform sell these fucking tickets a lot of these artists aren't making any money Okay, uh, and they're not making any money off of streams either. Now, as far as the street being put on hold, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. But as far as these artists, I'm gonna tell you who's ripping off a lot of these artists are the promoters. Okay, are the promoters. If you're an artist and you've been out for about five years and you still got gotta pay for to play, maybe you, you know. And the wannabe managers. Oh yeah, 
That's another one. But yeah, there's a lot of people that <laughs> borrow money from people to throw festivals yeah. and they never pay people back. Yeah. Okay. Believe me, I know this shit all too fucking well. I got people that tell me all the time, hey, I want you to come DJ. This is what I charge. Oh, come on, bro. Do it for the culture. No, that means do it for free. That's what you want. You know what? I support Rasa, but sabes que, bro? Sometimes Rasa got to pay. Because why is it that all of us are going to contribute to the culture and you're the one collecting all the fucking money? You're the one collecting all the money, flying to Cancun. Yeah, I'm out here chilling. Give up some of that money for the culture, bro. So, yeah, you don't want me to say your name because you know who the fuck you are. So, yeah, don't ever make me write a book. Anyways, um... <laughs> I'm serious. You know what? I've been around for too many fun the fucking years, and I know all the fucking rateros out there that are robbing our people, that are saying, Viva la raza, do it for the culture. No, you're thieves, bro. You're thieves, okay? We, us that are trying to do it right, just need to get together. We need to make the right connection. Stop being fucking jealous. That's what we used to say back then. We don't say hating. Stop being jealous. Let's come together, make our own festivals, and get all these fucking thieves out. So, uh, other than that, Marvelous, we, do, we good? That's it. Okay, we're good. If you guys need any other questions or need any other shit, just DM me or DM him and we'll tell you the fucking truth. So, uh, muchas gracias. Have a blessed night. We'll see you guys Friday, Friday, Friday. Boom.